Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? Are we okay for sound? Pushing all the magical buttons. Hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy you are here. Hanging out with me and Sophie Lofi. She's right in her chair. And she, uh, I, know, I know Mike's going to want this, so I'll, I'll get her done right away. She's good. I'm, we missed your uh, question last week of where she was because she was right beside me. I know. I can't wait to get her own bed set up. Come here, loud and clear. Awesome. Thank you very much, Linda Lindsay. Uh, in Pennsylvania right now, heading to Illinois. Why? What's in Illinois? I know someone in Illinois. What's this? It's a cookie. Oh, here we go. Is this a cookie? Come on. Come say hi. There we go. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> Good evening, Annie. Yo. How's it going? I think we're okay. I think we are okay. We're only going to have two cam uh, one camera shot today, so we'll chat out here for a couple minutes, and then we're going to go over to the uh, main desk camera here. All right. And we'll do some cross-stitching. This uh, little Santa came in a free booklet that I got from, it was actually a, a big box, I have the, the box, the box is right there, uh, from Miss Pat, who's in chat, and uh, with, I think it was 25 threads, came this cute little DMC uh, booklet, and I have gone to the website, they have hundreds, literally 586 patterns free for just cross stitch, then there's crochet, and then there's all sorts of other ones, thanks honey, appreciate it, have a good afternoon, everybody say bye pop, <laughs> I heard it, <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody doing? We good? We good? We're having a good day? I hope so. It's nice and sunny here. Windy. Oh my gosh. Was it ever windy last night? I thought we were going to lose the roof. I thought we were losing the roof. So anyways, there's like uh, eight new designs in here. Uh, like I said, if you go to the dmc.com website, hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of free patterns, alphabets, seasonal, um, birthday celebrations, wedding announcements, you name it. So, and some really cool free patterns. Of course, this one happened to be the last one on the list there, and it gives you all the bits and bobs that you need. Okay, so super duper easy. I'm just working my way down his beard. Got all the, the good stuff done. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. All right, so, uh, no, Pop had to go to work. Did you get heating done? No, no. They actually had to cancel yesterday for the house. Uh, the, the shop is nice and warm because the temperature warmed up. It's like 10 degrees outside. So, but the other, for fr Friday night it dropped uh, to like minus 10. And I came out here first thing in the morning and it was only like 2 degrees. I was like, oh my goodness, I don't think we're working out there today. So we tried to, uh, we grabbed another heater and had it out here. It only managed to get to six degrees b before we were supposed to stream. So that was like, uh, so, and then it was the same for, for, for Sunday. It was just like was minus 10 to minus, minus eight to minus 10. And it just, the little heaters just couldn't keep up in here. So they were keeping it just above frozen. So, but um, yeah, so cheers. I got, um, I don't know, half a cup of cold tea. I just didn't feel like making a nice hot one, so. I miss, I miss it, Renee. I really, really enjoy it. Delivering a load of fluid and fertilizer there. Oh, there we go. Baking cookies right now. Very nice, Annie-o. I heard you're gonna have a photo shoot with your horse. I'm excited to see the pictures. Hello, armchair detective. Drive safe there, Mr. Mike. Hello, Kathy. Sounding good and Sophie looks great. Thank you, thank you. She's good, she's happy camper. Now she's, now she's gonna nap. Now she's gonna nap. She's getting into a routine. So, it is very cute, and there's a couple um, very Christmassy ones on the DMC.com website. You just have to go free patterns, and then there's, but they have lots of other free patterns on there too. Like I said, they got cro uh, crochet and just needlework and so on and so forth. So, look for the, if you're looking specifically for cross stitch, look for the cross stitch ones, and then go down through the list. There's quite a few little alphabet ones. There's actually the Scandin Scandinavian fir tree. I downloaded that pattern and I'm probably going to do it after this one right here. This kit was gifted from Pat. This Pat Rim, Rhyme, Rhyme and Schneider. I'll say it one, right one day. Put on my, I put on mine too, but I didn't put any ornaments on it yet. I got all the, the lights and filled out the branches and stuff. It looks pretty. It looks pretty. It had the multicolored lights yesterday. Today it's just got the white ones. So I like the little the go go button there. <laughs> Yeah, I love a good place for free patterns. So, hello, Mel. Well, Krista and Linda and Annie, oh, I'm excited too, but cannot find my 
Western boots. Oh, don't you hate that? And you know, you know where they are. Where did I get my cross stitch frame? This is probably about as old as, I'd say almost my munchkin. I don't honestly know. I think I got it from a craft shop in the States. It would have been 1998 or 1990. No, hold on. Yeah, it would have been 1998 that I would have picked it up. Sorry, I missed today, but I will. Okay, big hugs, Nadine. We'll miss you. We'll miss you. Big hugs, big hugs. I've just taken up cross stitch. A friend gave me cute little Bob, Robin and Santa card kits. Oh, how lovely. And those are awesome. Those are awesome. I'll get some snow, very light. Oh, we had we had just a dusting last week and then it kind of pivoted off, so. Left unattended, yes you are, Miss Ass. <laughs> yes, yes, good morning, Helen. Hello, hello. Hello, Linda Black. Hello, hello, how's Orangeville today? Yeah, I really, I really, it's nice just to have the tree up. And, and then we're trying to get all the Christmas boxes because we have about four Christmas boxes that I'd like to all get gathered and then pick which ornaments we want to put on the tree and then be able to organize our ornaments from there. So, because we have them all over the place. So, indeed, indeed. So, I'm trying to think of where I go. I'm sure it was, just, I'm trying to think of the craft store. It was, it was in Harleysville, Pennsylvania. Oh, Chris Martin, we did say something on the on Friday. We probably were trying to do Cross Stitch Tuesday, but we also was trying to stream on the weekend, but it was way too cold. What, today? Yeah. Well, happy to be surprised. Okay, so like I said, we only got two cameras, and you only get one view. So we're going to switch from this one to the overhead one, and we're going to plug away at some Cross Stitch. Oh, uh, my discoveries from my... Uh, tidying up my fabric the other day. I made uh, at least a half a one on this one and a hole on this one. Aren't they pretty? They measure 22 and a half inches wide. So you can get, that'd be a perfect pillow. Pop something in the center, maybe a family initial, you know, last name initial, or even just a, just a nice little circle and you got yourself, boom, Christmas gift for somebody. I've done a few patterns from DMC website. They're, yeah, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. Yeah, so I got some, have a blue one done. I've got some other ones pressed behind me, and I'll probably work on that after we cross stitch. So, mm -hmm. so all right, let's put these behind. Yeah, I wanted to make use of them. I was like, hey, I found you. I'm going to make use of you. All right, so let's get this. Got our threads. Tidy up the desk. Move over just a little bit this way so you guys can see it more. Got me old lady goggles. I like it because it's, uh, Kathy, I like it because it snaps in. It's got this little plastic cover that snaps over the, the canvas, right? Or the, yeah, I guess so. The cloth, canvas cloth. So, I love Dresden's too, they're easy. Well, hello, Carrie, we haven't seen you in a while. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Um, yeah, the, the uh, Christmas um, little images uh, on gift cards or ornaments or anything like that. Actually, I, I, when I was in my discoveries, oops, I didn't realize it was open. Oh, hold on. I had this old, I don't wear makeup, so anybody who ever gave me a makeup bag, and this is probably, this is probably as old as when I lived with my mom, and I've got a bunch of coins and stamps in here. I came across these and I remember buying them. And they're the ones that you just kind of pop out. It's got a little paper card. So you stick your whatever you've cross stitched, you put it in there, put a little ribbon and away you go. And I have a lot of these. So my goal is to, you know, maybe do a few and then be able to give them away come next year. Right? There's all sorts of little shapes and you can put a little Christmas image in there or even just do a bell or do a fill out the star or something like that. So yeah, they were really cute. So I have a few of those that I can work towards with all those free patterns from the DMC website. Sneaking some time in. Oh, there we go. Patty C. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Yeah. So and I got a bunch of little little doodads. There was a there was a time I collected stamps and coins. I still kind of do. But. All right. So we're gonna switch the camera. So you're just gonna have this uh, the overview here with. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to get it. I can see the the desk camera here. So I make sure we're we're good to go in that position. I'll scoot over. At night and then oh there we go. <laughs> I love retirement. <laughs> All right, switching cameras. Hold on. Let's see if I got this right. Number two. Uh, yep. Yeah. I think we're okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. Do we need me to zoom in a little bit more? If we do, tell me now, and I can try and fiddle with the, the lens. And hopefully not make Pop mad at me. Vodka. No, there's no vodka. <laughs> zoom in, okay. All right, so hold on, let's see if I can do this without messing. Is that a little bit better? I'll just try and stay here-ish. Oh, there you go. No stressing out. No stressing out. No stress. Yeah, that that's perfect. Okay, not a little closer. Not a little. Cause I like it, you know, like close up, right? You know. So, all right. Hopefully, I don't stick my head in the way. I'm sorry if I do. I'll try and try not to get into the habit of doing that. We're gonna, yeah. Oh, there was a, that was another free pattern on the uh, DMC website. It was Nutcrackers. There was a couple of Nutcrackers there. Very pretty, very pretty. I really, really enjoyed looking at them. So I'm like, oh, and then they got the whole little mitten set. So we will figure out the whole picture in picture. So you'll kind of have me, the main camera, like up in one of these zones or something like that as we're, we're doing this. But uh, right now we're just gonna fiddle, fiddle and faddle and, mm, hello Pamela. Good right there, okay, wonderful. Yeah, no, the, uh, the DMC, the DMC.com website, free patterns. 586 I saw uh, just for cross stitch alone. Um, there, I was scroll scrolling down just all the free patterns. I'm like, wait a second, that looks really 3D. And I realized it was a crochet project. It was a purple little witch's hat. I was like, wait a second, and then the pumpkin next to it. I'm like, those were looking so three dimensional. Yeah, they were, because they were crocheted. <laughs> all right, I wanna go, I made a couple little mistakes. I don't know whether they're mistakes or I just didn't get the thread up into the hole. So I got like a kind of weird wacky half stitch right next to his nose so i'm gonna have to maybe fix that i think i went up instead of to the side i don't know geez sometimes sometimes i tell you all right so i'm working my way across here i've only got my one uh direction there and i think i want to yeah keep going right i want to even up with these guys here it was good <laughs> Gonna go make some square and a square block, so no more chatting. Okay, all right, Pat, get busy. <laughs> I really need. We really need this. Over. I know we're gonna. We're trying to fix it up. We're trying to. Unfortunately, the the days of the week are is not as long as we would like. I know. I missed the Sophie cam too. So. And I've used three uh, threads um, for this project. I like it because it to me it looks fuller, and I love this brown uh, cloth. It was it came from Pat, and I I thought the Santa would look really good on it because of the white of the beard would stand out, and I didn't want it to do obviously on white because you'd lose the beard. So, um, I, I you have to use. You don't don't do counted cross stitch. I find the the pattern ones, the needlework ones, are 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 very very beautiful. Like I've done a few of those for my mom. Okay, hold on. Oops, sorry. I was trying to get more in the screen. Sorry about that. Should have looked up where I was. Okay. So I I work with two hands. Uh, some people call me a left-handed cross stitcher because I'm using the left as the picking it up and putting it down and then just using my right hand to guide it from underneath to feed it to the other hole. I've tried doing it the other way, like try doing it so I'm just using my right hand and I end up just having, I, I end up holding, holding this and then having, do, doing this at the same time. And I, and I don't know why. I don't know. I can't seem to do it the other way around. 
And to me, this just kind of takes too much time. So I go back to resting on my right arm, using my right to feed the needle up, and then using my left to go up and down. Are, are people the same way? Are you guys the same way? Uh, yeah, is it? Eight? Yeah, it is. I don't know what uh, number it was because it was just r roughly, fo uh, sorry, loosely folded in a, uh, in a container. Yes, Merry Christmas, Diane, 57. Hello from cold Oklahoma. We had some na uh, nasty winds last night. Like, I was seriously looking outside to see if our roof was still attached this morning because I've never heard such wind like that before in my life. And it's just, I know it's a matter of getting used to it, but boy, it woke me up several times last night. Even Sophie was pacing in the hallway. So, and she wouldn't come sleep in the bedroom because... Her, her bed is right near the window and like so is my side of the bed but uh and I guess it was just too noisy the the, the, the wind and the howling and the oy, oy, oy. getting out to the post office then lunch then going to work on daughter's oh the tiger quilt yes oh that's look, that's gonna look amazing that's gonna look amazing yeah and I'd say this was a I think a 14 call. Like I have some other ones that are stamped with the numbers. And I could just compare it if somebody wants to know exactly what it is. But yeah, I used three. I probably should have just used two threads, but I used three. So well, I'll show I'll show you why. I'll show you why I I use I use three. Okay. I'll give you. A, I'll, I'm gonna get close with the camera here. And you can see where the pom-pom is. I only used two threads. And where his Santa hat is and the rest, I've used three. So, I don't, I don't, can you see the difference in that a little bit? Maybe I tilt it. I don't know. It's just a little bit thinner. I like the thickness of the three. So, But it was too hard on my eyes and tried to count all those. Oh, no, I, I, I agree. I agree. We got your wins this afternoon in England. More tonight. Thanks, Nova Scotia. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to send you where they where way there, armed armchair detective. Cheers, everybody. Cold cold tea. <laughs> it was nasty. Like it was and then and you can tell the rain was literally hitting the windows like sideways and stuff and like maybe even coming up. It was crazy. Like both Pop and I and, and, and Sophie were awake. I don't, I think Munchkin was woken up a couple times. Yeah. Um, but this is a kit that I'm going to start next after this. If you, I don't know if it's available. This was gift, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Um, it is 08109. Okay. I uh, have. Uh, J C A Inc. Townsend M, M A Massachusetts, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's really cute. It's really cute. I was hoping to work on it on our trip out here, but uh that didn't quite happen. <laughs> Super windy and nasty blowing snow here yesterday. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a nice big panel of the, the white tiger. It's beautiful. She made a, a post on uh, Facebook. It ripped off traffic lights off the lines. I used a hoop frame when I caught. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I have a hoop. I have a couple uh, hoop ones too, but not as big. Not as big as this one. Just a couple small ones. I like the scroll scroll frame. I think that's um, I think that's what we discovered it was called, and I think someone found one on Amazon when we were doing the cross stitch a couple of years ago. I had a couple of questions about the frame. Just scared my mastiff. She didn't like loud. Uh oh, oh, yeah. They don't like loud noises. That's for sure. Hello, Catwell. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Lois. Sorry for Misty coming in. Hello, Lisa, my sister. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome, 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 welcome. Happy to see you. 
Did it take me Christmas 2022 to finish it? <laughs> it might just take me that long, <laughs> but it'll be our next project, so. We'll putter away at it. Putter, 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 we'll get her done. Ain't no rush. Yeah, it's just, I just got white to do on this and then the ho, ho, ho on the side. So, or I could do it underneath. It doesn't really matter. Oh, Josie, freezing rain and rain in Quebec City. Very icy today. Oh, boy. And the back stitch outline cross stitches to work. With. Oh, okay, hold on. Mom, have you ever done the back stitch outline cross stitches to work with? Mm. Hello, Kelly. Just finished cleaning the bathroom and thought I would pop in. <laughs> well, better than pooping in. <laughs> just kidding. Hello, Donna Richie. I'm not sure what you mean by there, Riley. Do you mean just doing the one color and then coming back and doing the other color to set it out? Or um, what, 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 um, uh, I'm probably just reading it wrong, and I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry, Lena. Yes, happy, happy Tuesday, happy cross stitch Tuesday, happy Tuesday. Little chat session, catch up on things. Because we got our Christmas tree up with the lights on, but no, no, no ornaments yet. I'm going to get all the boxes in the house. I think I was going to try and do that today after the, after stream. Try and get all the Christmassy boxes in the house and then we can figure out what, what's, what's what and where's where. Because we've got boxes from all over the place. Mm-hmm. How's the weather where you are there, Kelly? Poor BC's been hit by floods and roads disappearing and bridges disappearing and people being stranded and, oh, I feel so bad. I'm fast doing this, am I? Oh, I don't know, I just, I just work, I just work. I, I figure I got two hands, so I better make them both work. So. <laughs> Second? Oh, okay. Did you chop down your own? No, no, no. We have uh, a couple of years ago. Normally, we would be a real tree uh, family. But um, I believe it was Munchkin said, if we're not going to plant a tree for every tree we're uh, cutting down for Christmas. Uh, either we get one that we can replant, like get one of the smaller ones, decorate it and replant it, or I think we should get a artificial one with all the lights on it and we can change the lights colors and blah, blah, blah. And so that's what we did that year. So, and we, I don't know, I'm trying to think of four years, five years maybe? I'm trying to think it was before we started streaming or after. So I'm just going to loop my threads back under itself to kind of just tuck them away. Okay. There's my snips. Okay. And the back has a couple little tails, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I've seen worse. I've done worse. <laughs> I've seen worse and I've done worse. Yes, um. Hello, Bettina. Welcome to the chat. Um, do you mean grid out the material? M maybe, Brat. Maybe. Hold on. Did she respond? Uh, no, don't. Hold on. I don't want to miss anything. I mean, go, go, sir. Working on a full coverage piece. Carol Manning design. Oh, I'll have to look that up there, Katie. Carol Manning. It sounds familiar. I may have seen one. I may have seen maybe a couple of her projects and thought, oh, my goodness. Just using back stitches to stitch with. The outline is the stitch makes gorgeous stars. Using, just using the back stitch to stitch with. Okay.
Oh, nice, nice, Kelly. Nice, Kelly. Yeah, especially when you're, you know, that's your main source of big groceries, right? Xmas decorations yet? Wanted to two last week, but my cat died. Oh, I'm sorry, Mel. I know the loss of a fur baby. I'm sorry. You, you do it. You'll feel better. You'll feel better. I know the the first Christmas after my mom passed away, I was like, I I don't care. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want to care, but it, I did, and I did, and I put it up, and I loved it, and I'm glad I did. Mm -hmm. Set up and decorated on the weekend. Freezer furs last forever, so we should be able to keep it until the new... Oh, very nice, very nice. Right, be right back, okay. Be right back. All right, so now we're, I think we got a, we got more fold away all the way across, but the question is, is this a third? Okay, so this follows a little line. No, so it goes all the way. All right, so this is a new start, so I like to just put it where you want to start the hole and then just kind of drag it so you can see a bit of a tail. Okay, see a little bit of a tail there. Oop, oh, I pulled it right out. Urga, lurga. It's okay, we got it, no worries. We got it, we got it. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, give ourselves a little tail. Some people put knots. I just try and try and lay it so when you're doing your stitches, when you're coming back and you're doing the, the you're getting that up, up um, thread, you're catching that at least a couple times. Okay. Needing your scalp. <laughs> well, at least you're getting a free head massage. <laughs> yeah, the two cats aren't taking them. Out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They, 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 they are pack animals, you know. I know sometimes people say that, you know, cats are, you, you don't own, cats own you sort of thing. But they are pack animals, and they, they like to be together. Hello, Miss Robin. Mm. Are you talking about the back's black? Oh, yeah, well, you would have to if you wanted to, to outline it for sure. Oops, get that in there. Other than that, the face wouldn't pop, right? So. But that's the only, do, only doing the back stitch. Oh. Okay, I'm, I got it. I got it. I got it, Lena. I'm sorry it took me so long. Some, I'm, sometimes I'm, you know, clueless and brainless. So just doing the black stitching, outline stitching to highlight everything, just doing that itself. Gotcha. No, I don't think I have. But that's that's an interesting one to do it with. I think I'd maybe pick something Halloween-ish. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting my tail at least loop through once and then I can trim it if I want to. Probably better. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to get it in the center of the screen. Oh, Jane's gotta go. Okay, bye. Uh, take care, take care, take care. I'm right-handed, but I'll try using my left hand as you do. It makes sense. Well, I just, I don't know. I just felt that what was comfortable for you. I, I started cross-stitching on my own. It wasn't something any of my family members did. I just found a nice pattern and wanted to work on it. And then from there, I did the dragon for pop, which I would love to discover in one of these boxes one day. Um, or a couple of small things, and then that that my, that dragon was my biggest project, and of course that was counted cross stitch, and I didn't know what the heck I'd taken on. My goodness. But I'd done a couple that were from photographs, like photographs of family loved pets, and then you take the photograph and put it in with this cross stitch software, and then it pops up like. 55 colors you're going to need to make this, you know, this photo or this, you know, this um, cross stitch image. And then you work, work from there. I did a uh, black German shepherd for one of Pop's uncles. Um, and he absolutely loved it and adored it. And for this black German shepherd, I used 
There was blacks, there was blues, there was greens, there was browns, there was all sorts of colors. And I thought to myself, why is this like software spitting out all these weird, wacky colors? And lo and behold, I now listened to it and I thought, you know what, you, you know what you're doing. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna follow. And um, and it looked amazing. It looked just like the dog, just like the dog with just like with the highlights of the shadow, you know, hi highlights and shadows. It was it was amazing. I was quite impressed with it. The soft. I can't remember the name of the software though. Q snaps to hold the fabric. This has got a little. It's like a little plastic clip. So I don't know if it's something custom made for something else and they just designed it for this or it's just the, the scroll, the way the scroll um, works. <laughs> Mike's figuring out all the little shortcuts. <laughs> hello, Miss Penny. Hello, hello. Yes, thanks for saying something, uh, what was it, two weeks ago about the microphone. And only as because you said something did Pop uh, figure it out. So greatly appreciate on that. I was trying to work the new camera, and sometimes lots of the little new buttons can be very overwhelming. Tiger's misbehaving. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> same sort of plastic holder as you have goes on top of fabric yeah oh yeah you can put fabric in here too I've, I've uh, cross stitched on fabric uh, well not I, I sorry needle uh, I actually back stitched I don't know what it was but I did that Pegasus or unicorn or whatever it was the red one the red work my turn to get the truck and trailer wash so my time is coming to oh thanks mike for hanging out with us sorry we couldn't stream on saturday and i know you know it's not our fault but i still felt bad and we were trying to do it on monday uh, sunday too but it couldn't work well you drive safe stay out of trouble <laughs> i'd say pedal to the metal but that's probably going to give you a ticket and uh, i don't want to get blamed for that because i can't afford tickets <laughs> <clears throat> we haven't been very far around here. Like, we're still on the first tank of gas we got when we first moved here, like, at the beginning of November. So, in the car. Like, we've just puttered here and puttered there, and that's about it. It was a dragon, I believe, embroidery. Oh, yeah? Dragons are awesome. I've got a book somewhere that's got about five or six dragons in them. Yeah, so to conquer that big dragon project that I did for Pop, I separated into four quadrants. So I took the, took the pattern, went and got it blown up about 50% more so I could really see what label was in that little tiny square and so on and so forth. And then I split that into four quadrants and then, and then just worked that one quadrant, the one quadrant, and then so on and so forth. But uh, in the end, I think I ended up putting the half one together, like the bottom half, and then just kind of working that slowly all the way down. So, because uh, I did take a break from it for, for quite a few years. So about four, four years. Taking a second to see that your pattern shows that you are supposed to outline backstitch your Santa just. Yeah, no, I know. I'm going to. I didn't, I, I didn't say I wasn't going to. I do that after, though. Aren't you supposed to do that after? So. Mm -hmm. Hope we have the stream Saturday. Get that shop. Well, it should be warm enough. Saturday should be 11 degrees here, so it should be warm enough. So I said to, said to Kent or to Pop, I'm like, geez. We're just waiting for one part. And the people should have been in the house yesterday for, to install the water pump first before the the boiler um, radiators go in and they had they had an emergency somewhere else so and we understand we're trying to be as understanding as possible it's just you know sometimes you you kind of want things to happen like I'd love heat in here for, for for sure I like the floor spray foamed underneath of it as well and I like a new roof and new windows and <laughs> <laughs> oh no that's no no worries pat no worries it's all good it's all good 
I was talking to, I think it was with the no part was, have I ever just done the outline? Not doing the colors, uh, threads on the inside, just doing the outline uh, to highlight just where the face was or what it, what it could have been. So, because it's not around the hat. The black is not around the hat, I've noticed. Like the, that back stitch. So, there we go. That's probably a better angle. You can see that. So there, but there is definitely, you gotta you got get that definition around the nose of the eyebrows and stuff like that. So, or that it's just, it just gets lost. No worries, Miss Pat, it's all good. But I think if I did one just, uh, you know, forgot all the, doing all the colors and just did the back stitch, I think it would probably be something like Halloween-ish. I don't know why, but just because it's black, I don't know. It's on the to-do list, that's for sure. Uh, gotta get dressed and gotta get on with the day. All right, well, take care there, Miss Kelly. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, do the back stitch after. That's what I was thinking. That's what I've usually, do I've usually done, so... I was trying to think if there was a lot of back stitching in the dragon. There really was because you had to define where the legs and his arms were and all the way around and then scales. He had belly scales with the chest diamond. So I want to keep knitting on my cardigan, but my hand is killing me. Got one sleeve almost done. There you go, Carrie. Mas massage your hand. Massage your hand. Or um, if you got an orange or something like that, you can kind of use that as a, you know, to help out. Help out a little bit. I find it get that way sometimes with my right hand because I, I, I broke it in a few spots. So, and it doesn't, it doesn't always want to work. See you Saturday, 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 Saturday. And then can you believe it's only two weeks till Christmas on Saturday? I swear, right after our birthdays, it just needs to like sneak right up on us. So I feel like I gotta be, I gotta be ready next year. I gotta be ready by my birthday. So I don't usually like to think about Christmas in that aspect, like getting stuff up or doing, doing things like that until afterwards. But, you know, got to get on it sometimes, man. I got nothing for my sisters. I got nothing for my nieces or nephew. Wait, jeepers. Such a fail boat. I'm a fail boat auntie. <laughs> it just goes fast. Upside down and left-handed. Oh, is it? Oh, how can I switch that around? Oh, I didn't even realize that, armchair. I'll have to ask Pop for next for next week. Sorry. Sorry if it's annoying. Yeah, when I broke my right hand, I had to adapt a lot with my left. So Like just basic duties of looking after oneself, right? So, mug a hot tea in hand. There you go. There you go. Let that let that help your hand. I find that is it Voltaren gel. I'm not sure if you can get that where you are, Carrie, but um, some Voltaren gel um, makes your hand a little sticky, but uh, it it does help. I found I find it helps. You just kind of rub it in a little bit and then let it sit. I usually just kind of do the like the as if you were having a manicure and just kind of let your hands sit sort of thing but i get it i get like cramps up in here and then all through my right hand where you know because I, I broke a couple spots in here and, and on the spot of the finger so um yeah so it's kind of like <laughs> you don't want to work sometimes they feel very stiff but i find some of that voltaren gel does help Bye, Sister Lisa. Because love you. Love you. You enjoy the day, too. Hope you're keeping busy. She got herself a, she got herself a little long arm. I wonder how it's working. Should have asked her. Darn it. Darn it. Had her in the chat. Never got to ask. Repetitive strain injury. Yeeks. 
It's like carpal tunnel syndrome and, you know, tennis elbow. Even people who don't even play tennis get tennis elbow, you know. So it's just a matter of doing the same same task and, you know. Ooh, wind is howling. At least not as bad as it was last night. I, I seriously thought we were going to Oz. But I've thought that before. <laughs> so I just, I just got to calm down about the wind. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so new, right? It's just so new to us. Like that, the, the noise it makes and people aren't going into panic mode because we're in a hurricane. No, no, it's just the wind. Even the delivery guy yesterday goes, oh boy, it's way, way uh, windier out here than it is in Picto. <laughs> like there's nothing to stop the wind up here. So Some trees, but that's about it. They're far away. Do, oh, 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 I should have, that, I think that was supposed to go all the way down. Yeah, one, two, three. Oops. Go back down here. I missed, missed this last one here. I went in one in when I shouldn't have. There we go. We could finish that off. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Uh, oh, I can see, I can see it from the front windows and stuff. Uh, so yeah, relatively close. If you, if you look where Picto Nova Scotia is, um, it kind of, kind of does like where the water, it's like a little bay, I guess it comes around and there's little like harbors-y parts. We're kind of in there. So we don't, we, I don't see, um, I don't see boats or I haven't seen any boats. And maybe they don't do it uh, during like winter months. I, I don't know, uh, but it'll be, it'll be interesting. Are there big trees for your land, firewood? Oh, there definitely can be. Yeah, we got 80 acres, 90 acres, sorry, 90 acres. Uh, my horse wants his dinner. <laughs> Clean box. Going to rewatch the rest later. Oh, thank you, Annie. -o. Big hugs to you. Big hugs to you. Say hi to your bud. All right, and this one should go all the way across, but then a short one. So I know it's boring just doing white today, but we, we got to get her done. Got to finish up the center. Do you guys like using a sharp one? Because this is kind of blunt. This this needle here is, is very blunt. I find it hard to do half stitches with it because it doesn't want to go through. It's not sharp. But I find sometimes if you use too sharp one, you end up poking your fingers all the time. You know, I don't want to poke my fingers. I'm not out for some blood donation. Been drawing out the Colorworks chart today with colored pencils so I don't have to keep looking at the PDA. Oh, okay. Nice. That's a good thing. That's a good thing to have. That's a nice thing to have on your design wall. Especially when you're going through all your fabrics and trying to sort stuff out. I like it because they, they put, when the wheel, there's the color wheels that you can uh, turn and then they line up colors that go with each other and you wouldn't think normally would go with each other. And then lo and behold, you start making a project with it, whether cross stitch, knitting, uh, quilting, or what have you. And you're like, wow, the bomb diggity. They look amazing, right? Yeah, I think tomorrow night we're in for minus, uh, again, temperatures. Uh, I think it's supposed to be minus 8 or minus 10. So here's hoping the mini split keeps the house warm enough. Um, we got a notice from the insurance company saying we had to do some things about the railing in the to go down to the basement and things about the piping all needs to be the same for the fires um a stove downstairs and then the top something needs to be done with i'm like oh my good gravy look at all these hoops we have to jump through just got that notice this morning so wasn't too thrilled about it but we got to do it the question is how do we get it done and in a timely manner, right? So, because they're the ones that were giving us a hard time about having the heat done in the house and we've been trying to get it done. I mean, like, it's not like we haven't. You know, they they run on a different schedule out here and it's not like everything happens right away. There's lots of shortages for, um, you know, tradespeople, right? So. Okay, we wanna make sure we're coming in one less on this row, help form our Santa beard. 
I guess I could do some of the, the black and the green because I think there's actually green wrapped around the holly leaves here. Uh, so I could do a little bit of that after I get this uh, strip of white done. I can work on some of the outlining. That, that'll be all right. It'll be a bit different. Did the last people not have heat? Well, they did. It was all wood heat, but they made these insurance changes uh, previously, uh, like uh, before... Like, I guess, I don't know why they made these insurance changes uh, for to have uh, two separate heat sources or whatever, even though, uh, I don't know, it's very confusing and we've had to jump through hoops left, right and center. So they, their main heat was the wood stove in the basement that heated the whole house and the floor, which was fantastic. And I wish it would go now. And if it, if it was in my space and not in Munchkin's space, because he doesn't want to have to deal with it. He already told us that previously. He didn't want to have to deal with the fireplace unless it was an emergency because it's very time consuming and it's dirty, right? It's, it, it, so if it was in my space, it, I would have had that going already and we wouldn't have had the mini split probably even going at all. So it would be there for, for backup. But the mini split doesn't work or has a struggle working as we've even seen at minus 10. So, and they're supposed to not work at minus 12 and that they just can't keep your house warm, right? So it's just, it's one, one unit in the living room. It's trying to help heat the whole house, the, the kitchen, the bedrooms, the bathrooms, you know, and they're not always, you know, angled with the doors open to, to, to receive the, the warm air. Right. So we've had, obviously it's in the living room. That's where Sophie's chair is. So no matter what Sophie's warm. And of course we've got enough quilts on our beds to keep us warm. We're not worried about that. It's just the floor. The floor is cold and I don't like a cold floor. Then you get achy feet and achy bones and I'm a whiner. So <laughs> Oh yes, for sure. Oh yeah. No, no, it's all insulated and stuff in, in, between the walls and of course. Um, but there's just a few hoops we have to jump through to get insurance. So, and the, and the, um, you don't have, it's like, it's a, it's a mortgage requirement as well as like an insurance requirement. But if you don't have to have, a, if you're not, you don't have to have a mortgage, you don't necessarily have to have insurance, right? So maybe the previous owner didn't have a mortgage. So I, like, I don't know. We got asked when we were filling out our paperwork was, uh, did we have solar? Uh, did we have this? Did we have that? And the, these were all conditions that they would not insure us for if we had. Right. So it was like, uh, what the heck? And why would they be so, uh, resistant on the solar? So maybe the winds and they rip off. That's the only thing I could think of. And that was after the fact, like I was very baffled by why they wouldn't be encouraging solar power um to people who had the land space to do it but if the winds get that high i don't i don't i don't know if the solar would even stay on the ground to tell you the truth so maybe it's wind damage i don't know hello brenda from kentucky and we want something that we can rely on all the time and not have to use the, the stove is pretty much going to be for emergency situations. Like we got the power out and you know, the, the boilers, the, um, the radiator boilers aren't working, you know, and we're also upgrading our, uh, hot water tank. The hot water tank is tiny and it's always clicking off and clicking on and clicking off and clicking on. And unfortunately where Munchkin is in his space, it's literally like almost right above his head. So it, it, he is moving somewhere else, but we need to get the heat in those spaces beforehand. So he's not, has not moved into his space where those is supposed to be his room. So, cause we've been waiting for the heat. And then of course we're going to try and we got his bathroom set up some, a part of it. Um, like it, that, that'll be started, but it has to all happen after the heat. So having that problem because of the driving board on the pool, oh, diving board on the pool. What do you mean? Oh, from, from freezing? Is that what you mean? Oh, or insurance, you mean? Okay, let's do another row until we finish this little thread, and then we'll move to some outlining. We can outline some stuff up here before we, before we finish up the end. Okay, so, and that's two in a row there, so let's go here.
can see that. Am I doing okay? We have another camera, and I'd like it to come on an angle, like kind of this way, so because I'm I'm kind of tilt myself on an angle, and then hopefully we can get a nice, really good view. We'll work on that over the before next Tuesday. Try and get that camera set up, so. and then hopefully I can just twist that camera to be the the Sophie cam when for the regular time. Maybe I don't know. Nah, I think Sophie cam needs to be her own cam. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll sort out the whole pictures and pictures later. We're, we're, we're learning. It's a, it's a lot of stuff to learn and got a little time to do it in. You know. Yeah, it does make it rough, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm making tickets for tomorrow. My friend who makes different types of crafts and are going to a restaurant, we will have a few drinks. Think we create things we created. Oh, they're nice. Oh, how sweet! Hello, practically creative, Miss Melissa. It's currently minus twenty-three. Oh my goodness! You'd think it was the end of January or something. Thank goodness we have a fireplace as well as electric heat. Yeah, no kidding. See, you would have to. You need both. See, if it was up to me, I would have had that fireplace in the going in the basement already. I would have I would have had all the dry wood that's outside in the yard downstairs lined up against the wall ready to rock and roll had probably two more cords delivered just in case you know would have had that whole whole two walls in the basement all filled up ready to rock right but it's not in my space and I have to respect the person that lives in that space so Household content insurance is a must if you have a mortgage in the UK. Yeah, exactly, right? Pacemaker removed this in March. She no longer realized. Oh, nice. Oh, that's exciting. Wow, they're booking operations that early in advance. Wow, my, my. Well, I guess maybe they have to. See, I like the feel of one too. I, I, I liked it. I liked the pellet stove when we needed it and used it more than when, uh, besides just, you know, bad weather. So I like the heat that it provided. There was a couple times we, we, we chose to use it for uh, a, a winter just to feel how it would be like. And, and, and the pellet stove was easy enough. I mean, it was every 12 hours you had to put some pellets in it pretty much. And uh, like that wasn't a hard task. That's, a, that's an easy easy oven to or uh, stove to maintain so but sometimes there's just nothing better than a good old fireplace right good old fireplace Now, we got two heaters going on here right now. It's about 19 degrees in the shop. It's fine. Like it's 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 warm enough. You know, I'm fi I'm fine in a t-shirt. So I think I'll just get to the one row here. Doo -doo -doo. Finish off. Finish this off. And then we'll do some black. Mm -hmm. I put, uh, it was put in when she was three months old. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. I've actually, I put that all in a paper bag. The the dryer lint and the and the, the bounce sheets because they burn too. I, I literally take the bounce sheet that I use for the, in that, and scoop out the whole little linty tray and then right into a paper bag. Just in case, just in case. <laughs> I'm glad to have a reverse cycle air conditioning and I don't have to use the fire in winter. I don't miss trying to get wood, dragging it inside, cleaning the fire out, ash everywhere. And yeah, well, that's what Munchkin didn't want to have to deal with. He's like, no way. I don't want to have to deal with that. And I was like, 
All right, and no, and we had to get a new uh, heating system anyway, so it would have been just for emergency. So, and right now the room is kind of full of boxes because he wants to do some dioramas and stuff like that, and we've got all sorts of different thicknesses and boxes, so that'll help. Okay, there we go. It's looking pretty good. Not bad. Well, turn it around right side, and then you might be able to see it. There we go. A little bit better. Do some black and we'll get him his little face highlighted a little bit. Yeah, the cost of wood is expensive, especially if you don't have it on your own land. And even if you had the you have the opportunity to farm it off your own land, you still have to have the chainsaw, the equipment, the habit to pull it out, and then dealing it with it after that is you know, you need a um, uh, a wood splitter, right? So let's see, do I have black? I've got some black in here, but do I have black in here? Yes, I do. Okay. All right. Let's use up this little piece first. And since I did three for the rest of the project, should I be using three threads for the back stitch? I don't want it to get lost, right? Or is that going to be too much? What do what you think? Two, two or one? He is cute, isn't he? He was, he was uh, he's, he's in free in a booklet. But if you wanted to go to dmc.com, they have hundreds of free patterns for you to play with, for sure. Hello, Barbara from Peaster, Texas. Only two? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe just two, because I know it's going to get too thick in there. You'd hire a sexy lumberjack? <laughs> <laughs> and watch him pop your little armchair out there and just be like all right entertainment <laughs> and this is where you can possibly use a different needle as well uh maybe one that's more a little sharper we'll see if i'm if i struggle with this one i'll try and find a sharper needle Got two little short strips here, so. Yeah, yeah, these two. Good suggestion, thank you, Heather. Thank you, Carrie. Oh, that's, uh, thank you. I try to label all the colors, too, that I was working on projects. This section here has got a big gap where I'm assuming you can put, like, your needles and snips and stuff like that. So, but, um, yeah, I ran out of the little cards, or I would have wound these guys up as well. I've got one of the variegated blue here, but I don't think anybody more is going to fight on that. So, but yeah, there's some, I'd like to get them all organized color wise there, but yeah, there's lots from even uh, Pop's Dragon Project in here. Cause you only need a little bit sometimes, but you got to buy the whole thing, right? Like you got to buy the whole scheme and they're not cheap. They're not cheap. When you have to buy like 50 or 60 for a project and they're like even a buck each or something like that it, that's gets that gets to be a bit much and all right let's go around his little s snowball puff well i think because i did three kathy i might want to do two sorry i'm just trying to find my tail here just to see see about making them pop You use two strands. Yeah, cat. Well, that's what I was thinking. Use two. All right. Leave my little tail. Let's highlight her pom pom. Pip, 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 pom pom. That'll make things stand out. Nice and pretty like. Yeah, I was a goofball yesterday. I was trying to prep stuff for recycling, and I you have to put them in a blue pa blue clear plastic bags. So I had some stuff like pizza boxes and a couple other things in a bag, and I just left it on the deck, and I didn't even think about tying. I have the lessons learned here: don't leave stuff on the deck that's going to blow away, or you're going to find it in the back forty. Um, so. And as, as I was out here yesterday for a couple hours, the rain picked up, the wind picked up, like it was just howling and beating up against the shop and things. And, and I did happen to hear a leak right above me. I heard drip, drip, 
drip. So we gotta we gotta deal with the roof. That's 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 a number one as soon as spring comes. So the question is, what do I do? Do I shingle it? Because either way, it, steel's gonna cost me a fortune, and I don't I don't I don't got that. So I'll have to figure something out. But yeah. So anyways. So I, Sophie and I leave the shop yesterday and, you know, we closed the door to here and I'll, I see a pizza box in front of me and I'm like, oh no, it was literally all over the yard. So there's me in the wind and the rain trying to fetch all the crud and recycling that I should have tied up the bag to begin with. And uh, I was so mad at myself. I must have spent 20 minutes chasing stuff around the yard and trying to pick it up and then walking over to the neighbor's place, trying to pick it up off their fence. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Good gravy, Laurelin. Mm, I have severe lymphedema in both legs. So did my mom. Yeah, sorry, Sass. Yeah. So I can't get down to clean it out. Getting the wood is either another problem and actually getting it inside just too much. Yeah, it would be. It would be too much because you don't got somebody to help you. I mean, and Mitchell's, Mitchell's and, and uh, Kyson aren't big enough to help that yet. Though they would. I know they would. Him car racing or something with his dad the other day. That was funny. Why was he hitting you? Does he do that all the time? I know, you know, when you're in school and they say, you know, when the boys hit the girls, it's because they like them. But, you know, don't beat Nana up. <laughs> what are you doing, boy? Don't you beat Nana up. <laughs> Is he just excited, doesn't know what to do, or gets nervous, or? Mm -hmm. I started going out of business, and I was able to get skeins for five cents each. <gasps> I got three of all colors and made a friend goodie bag. Oh, you are a sweet friend. Oh, he was meeting mom. Oh, okay. I thought it sounded like you. I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry. Why is he beating mom up anyways? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she wanted to go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That that oh, that makes sense now. I was like, why is he smacking you, Mitchell? Don't make me send you a video. <laughs> there was a a really nice one that. Um, Pop's uh, uncle had up in the, we, he took over a barn. He, lived, he made the upper part of the barn his home. And then there were still cows and turkeys and cows and turkeys, 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 pigs. No, I think it was just cows and turkeys. Cause I didn't mind the smell of the cows. The turkeys were a bit much though. Um, Cause you got wa wafts of them every now and again. But you know what, hey, they helped keep the barn warm. Um, and you just, you just go for it, right? That's how, that's how they used to live way back in the day. Anyways, he had two fireplaces, one in the front of the barn and one in the back of the barn. The back of the barn was kind of like the bedroom, kitchen, living room area. The front of the barn was like bar, big party zone, uh, you know, whatever. It was, it was, it was just a little bit more, you know, souped up to party party. The other was more like, you know, private residential sort of thing. Right. So, but the one that was in the party zone, uh, had a beautiful big, uh, stove to, you know, heat the whole, it was, it, if the barn was say 80 feet long, it was probably 60 feet was that part. And then 40 feet was the, the house part. So, um, you heat that 60 feet by, or 80 feet. Yeah. 60 feet by what, however wide it was 30 feet or something. Um, you needed a big, a big fireplace, especially Ontario weather, you dropped minus 40, whatever. And, uh, yeah, it had a beautiful, like, it was just beautiful, nice big double, uh, glass doors and, and it's just, it was a nice big unit, pretty, pretty decorative, uh, wrought iron around the window and even on the inside and, you know, accents on the outside of the, 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 the fireplace. It was, it was beautiful. It was a, I liked it. And the, the look of the fire from the windows, it, uh, it was just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. A lot of work though. Used to haul it. We used to get the wood, drag the wood. And that's why I know how much work it takes. Cause I've done it. I've done it a few, a few winters for them or a few summers to help them stock for winter. So oh, hold on, let me catch up. Oh, 
I am cross stitching an old alphabet from Lanart, 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 five and a half by six and a half, 21 color. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There was lots of free alphabet ones on that dmc.com website as well. Uh, there's a few that I really like. There was one that um, I, I would like to take on. I, I downloaded it, the pattern. It's the Scandinavian fir tree. It's just very plain. It's like two threads and it, it just, it's very sticky like, stick like tree with little decorations hanging off of it. So it's very pretty. I really liked it. Mm, there's another company that makes skeins of, yeah, there's Anchor DMC and I thought there was somebody else. I thought there was somebody else that does skeins of thread too. Okay, it doesn't say to highlight the hat, but should I? Should I go around the hat? It doesn't show any black. But what do you think? Should I go around the hat? Make them stand out a little bit more or just do the highlights and make that as a last decision? In some cases, it's easier to cut the wood where it falls and then haul. Yeah, I've, we've done that too. We've hauled it up, uh, back the track up, uh, truck uh, back up to where it can, and then just as it was being chainsawed, I didn't want to use the chainsaw, but I was happy to haul and toss and whatever. I would just poof, 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 straight into the back of the truck. So go around in red. Oh, okay, okay, I'll do that in red then. All right, let's try off on the black. I didn't think about doing red. How about using a darker red? Okay, Caroline, I'll, I'll find a darker red here. Good tips. You guys are awesome today. <laughs> well, you're awesome every day. <laughs> well, let's see what we got here, baby. Let's see what we got. Uh, I don't that's the same as my outside one so we don't want that one let's see what we got in a little magic bucket I just get a ducket we got a magic bucket oh that's that's not bad that's that's a bit darker those are burgundies those are too dark right that's too dark huh. all right hold on let's see what we got Those are two, two, two. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think we might have a contender on 498. 498 is stepping up to the plate. Do we have a contender? I, th I think, I'm thinking I'm liking that one. What do you, what do you think there, there, peeps? Hold on. Incoming. Four ninety, yeah, yeah. Four ninety eight. He'd be calling it. I think so. Thanks, Linda. Mm, and the inside of the ball, LL. Is there a back stitch too? Inside. Oh, those these little markers here is actually supposed to be a different color, but I was going to use beads. It says white, and then Urk crew. I used Urk crew for the whole beard. So where it is with those little uh, L's, I guess. I'm actually going to put a sparkly bead. So that's my, I'm going to give it a little bit of dimension. So, because I got some beads that were gifted to me and some lovely needles to, to actually use on the beads. Yeah, good choice. Okay, perfect. Sticking the other ones back. You are not invited to this party. It's me and 498. Thank you very much. Back of the line. <laughs> Yeah, beads. I thought it would look really nice because it's. If you look in the pattern, um, it's it's um, it's like woven down and it gives that depth and dimension. And of course, it's got his onto his mustache here and then the pom pom. So it's really only in those spots it's going to highlight his face, right? So wherever those those little swirly things, I'm going to put a bead. So yeah, a nice little light, like a goldy silvery, not goldy silver. I mean, like a silvery white kind of bead. So I just got to find them. I know I have them. I just got to find them. you doing loaf? You want to come say hi? Come say hi to the peoples? Hold on, hold on. 
Hold on, let me go switch the camera. Oh, so you can see I did the movie. Actually, let me just talk to the camera for a minute. Oh, 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 jeez. Okay. Do, do. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. There we go. Come here. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. Hi. Hi, you good girl. You a good girl. Oh, a big stretch. Oh, it has a big stretch with such a little puppers. Hey, hey. <laughs> hmm? Come up, her. Sneezers? You got the sneezers going on? <laughs> yeah, let's see what I can find you over here. I, got, I think I got a couple little treats. I made sure to, from her last wolf pack, to bring some goodies out here. So I got some, what are these? These are sliced pork ears. Okay. Come up here. There you go. <laughs> Happy puppers. <laughs> All sealed up. Okay. Sophie's amazing. Sophie's amazing. Yeah, it'll stand out. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah, I was really hoping for that. So let's uh, take our measurement. Well, I wouldn't call myself a professional. Unless you mean somebody else in the chat. <laughs> I think we'll stick with the two, two that we were using for the back. So let's just peel those gently, ever so gently. Yeah, that, that'll be nice. That'll be nice. Ooh, crunchy, crunchy. Must be a good snacky. Make sure we just have two. Yes, it is. Yeah, Sophie's a really good girl. I love her, love her, love her, love her, love her, love her. She was way on the other side of the electric fence the other day. I came out to look for something for a pop, and I was in like that building and that building and then this building and that building, and then I was oh, I was here and I was there. I was trying to look for something specific because we were missing something, and we really needed it, and. Uh, so by the time I got back to, you know, figure, I thought Sophie was just running around because I'd seen her and I'd kick the ball and then she'd go off. And then anyways, so she was off wandering. She's out by the pond visiting the ducks. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> Get back. <laughs> Get back here. Mm. Oh, yeah, super cold tea. That's not good anymore. Let's just have water. So go switch the camera. Hold on, let me start, and then I'll switch the camera. And that you guys want it this way for a little bit. That's 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 fine with me. Just let me know. I want to keep you guys happy. I want to keep my homies happy. Happy homies. Not green. No 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 green. No green. <laughs> no green, Miss Sass. No green. Not even a green screen. We don't even have that around here. Oh, oh pull it right out. All right, listen, buddy. Listen. You okay? Yeah, you all right? I don't like there she was coughing there for a second. Do, do, do. And that's the thing is with these free patterns, you can do whatever you want. You can give Santa a blue hat or a purple hat or a purple beard or whatever. You know, you want to make something unique for your family? You know, make, make one of each, each color of the rainbow, right?
Run your thread through some stitches on the back. I was doing that earlier. I was trying to do that to keep it steady when I was working back and forth on the white, just so I wasn't having some goofy spots. So, should have done that with the red, definitely. So when do you when do you leave, Miss Sass? And how long does it take you to get to Mum's house? Okay, no one move. Uh-oh, what's going on? <laughs> what happened? What did I miss? Yeah, let me uh, switch the uh, camera angle back so you can back and see the, uh, the, the project. Okay, one second. <laughs> Soon I'll have this all on my desk. There we go. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Hello, Miss Tina. What's going on? My internet playing up, got back. Oh, okay, okay. Next Monday, the 20th, or maybe the weekend, depends on, okay, the kitty cat. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it's fast approaching, man, let me tell you. She's at work. Okay, everybody, shh. <laughs> Don't get Tina in trouble. <laughs> Sorry. Just doing some uh, back stitching in red to highlight Mr. Claus's hat. We have two colors in the hat to give it some definition, but we are just gonna give her a little bit extra with some outlining, just to make it pretty. Oh, thank you, armchair. Big hugs to you. Big hugs. Thank you. Thank you. Probably nice. Oh, Seam Ripper, Seam Ripper, you're a brat's best friend. Seam Ripper, Seam Ripper, right to the very end. <laughs> you got this, brat. You got this. Hello, one love. On lunch break. Oh, there you go. Thank you very much, armchair. Thank you, thank you. My sister is going next week, but I want to go to my sewing extras party as I have missed the last two years. Oh yeah, I don't blame you, I don't blame you. Did you guys do things for each other, your little sewing club? Make a little like secret Santa gift for some of your homies? And I've just missed it. Well, he's certainly not in the room with me, so if he is and he's watching, he's watching. Or he's, he's just observing, just to check and make sure we're, you know, doing what we're supposed to be doing. No lollygagging going on around here. I should get some work done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll bring a plate. Yeah, that's what I missed about the... Ear and village quilters. Uh, everybody brought a potluck. You brought your own plate, knife and fork, and you know everything else like that. And you, and 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 you know I, I try to tell them ahead of time, like you know if anybody's got any allergies, please say something because I've got allergies. Because there'd be half the time that I couldn't eat maybe two thirds of the stuff on the plate, so or on the on display, it, you know either had bell peppers in it or some sort of nuts, right? So, and it's understandable. I understand. It's not a big deal. I'm dealing with them all my life. It's just 
you know, sometimes you're like, oh, that just looks amazing. And then you're like, oh, what's that red thing? Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, <laughs> especially mom. Yeah, I figured. I figured. He doesn't trust me to be out here on my own anymore. He thinks I'm, gonna, I'm just going to nap on the couch. <laughs> and that's why he keeps filling the couch up with stuff, except for Munchkin's space, or um, Sophie's space. <laughs> you doing but we all know you're innocent yes we do for now though for now uh oh 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 hold on not there we go i'm usually pretty good at not getting knots but no, not yet. We're in the process, Tina. We're, we're working it. I, all we can do is ask if things are happening today because Munchkin spent the whole day out here yesterday or most, well, all morning, really, all morning um, out here yesterday because he needed to work because we thought the crew was going to be in the house and they didn't end up coming. So, and I don't, I don't know if they're coming today either, so... But not not for the house and not for the shop yet either on either one of those. We're 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 working it though. We'll, we do the best we can. We 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 can't, we're not in charge of the parts, yeah. Or the or the people to to do the work, you know. It's a, it's a game of, of patience, and I know sometimes we don't always have patience, but we've got no choice. So it unwinds. Just let it drop every now and again. Okay. And then up, oh, up here at the top. <laughs> I think I did that one already. Let's come back over here. It's kind of hard to see where you've gone and where you've been and everything else. But I can tell. I can tell the little bit more of a, a definition around the, uh, the red so and the green. The separation here for the holly. The holly jolly Christmas. Working on a lap quilt and watching the snow flurries. Oh, really? Oh, wow. We had some flurries a couple of days ago, and I think we're in for some tomorrow night. And then it's supposed to warm up again for the weekend to like uh, 8 or 9 degrees. So we should be able to be just fine here in the shop to, to stream. So be excited. I want to continue on our little peacock project. At least get a couple done and then I can't like too expensive to drop. Yeah, exactly. And we got Pop a microphone too, so you guys should be able to hear him talk. So is I think that's awesome. What do you guys say about that? Oh, my fault? Oh, no. <laughs> karaoke. I don't think I've ever sang karaoke in my life. Not much. I was never much of a bar person, so.
I'm glad the sun is shining though. It's nice to have the sun out. You know, almost looks like I'm not doing anything, but I really am. I really, really am. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Get more in the middle. Sorry about that. Come on. Up here. There we go. Very goes fun, even if you don't drink. <laughs> Making good brow. Oh, thank you, April. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Karaoke cross stitch is fun. <laughs> Singing along for sure is definitely fun. Singing a song. Oh, take care, Carrie. Big hugs to you. Have a good one. Oops, oops, oops. Lost my thread. Yeah, we've had to jump through a lot of hoops for this insurance company, or insurance in general, just anybody here. It's just like, are you are you kidding me? And Pop was beginning to think it was because we're from Ontario and they were just giving us a hard time and stuff, but, you know. She even said that to the, to the lady on the phone. I'm very confused by what is going on here. You're giving us conflicting, you know, answers and reasonings to why this won't happen and why that, you know, and then... She's like, no, no, no. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. It seems like it. Working on a rag doll. Boy done. Girl in progress. Never done this before. A 12 year old with disability only wanted a rag doll for Christmas. She drew pictures of it. I'm trying to. Oh, how awesome, Darlene. How fantastic is that? Good for you. Big hugs. Big hugs. I bet you're having a good time. Yeah, exactly. We've had to jump through hoops like crazy, practically creative. It's very annoying. For Xmas, I'm getting my husband a half hour of cuddle time with a cow. <laughs> okay, bye, Penny. Big hugs. See you Saturday. Yeah, we were talking about Raggedy Ann, doll, Raggedy Ann and Andals the, the other day as we were a couple of panel pieces for, um, that I came across. Well, hello, Miss Mary. Big hugs. Big hugs. Miss you. Sending you loves and hearts. Big hugs, Mary. Hope you're doing okay. I'm glad to see you. I'm very glad to see you. It's nice to know you're in the chat. I saw an Elvis tribute called Pelvis on Saturday night. I'm still aching from dancing. Oh, wow. Nice. Dancing in the street. Oh, I think I forgot to go one way. I do two, two, two verticals and only not and missed a horizontal. Okay, there we go. Now we're working around. Now we're working around a hat. hat. I bet it is so much fun. I remember shortly after we moved here, we were living in Oakville. In not here, sorry. Uh, in uh, Ontario, we were living in Oakville, and I had moved away from my nieces, which I'd managed to spend you know two and a half years you know, getting to know and teaching them how to ride bikes and go swimming and enjoying my time with them as much as I could, right, for, for my, my sister Elizabeth's uh, children. And when we moved here, I made them little me dolls, like little dolls that looked just, not just obviously just like me, but had my, you know, auburn hair color because I was auburn back then. And it was long and they could braid it or 
or put it in a bun or whatever. They could do whatever because it was yarn. I used yarn. And they were probably about 12 inch dolls, maybe. And I made them three little outfits. I made them um, a dress up outfit. And they, are, they were all different, all three different outfits. And then, and then um, pajamas. And yeah, dress up outfit, pajamas, and then a casual outfit, like, you know, like shorts or capris or something. Because I don't, I'm not usually one to wear shorts, but I, I'll wear capris, right? So, and then like a tank top or whatever. And I, and I even drew on my, my, my one tattoo at the time. I only had, I don't have two, but uh, the one I had, I put it, you know, on, on the, where it was on my character, on my little doll, permanent marker. Just drew something very similar like it anyways. And uh, yeah, they, they loved them. They, they loved their little auntie dolls. I mailed it to them. Could dress him up, dress me. And one went to school. The youngest one, Brooke, took it to school with her for like a year, two years. Every every day, I went to school with Brooke. <laughs> My mom would tell you, tell me what sort of adventures I went on as the doll went on, and when we would talk, it was hilarious. I had such a good time. No clue, Miss Ass. I will bug them today. Alice and Coat, the chickens, the donkey. <laughs> Pet and Zoo. Oh, there you go. Pet and Zoo. There's a good retirement plan. Pet and Zoo. telemarketers I hear you <laughs> well the grandkids would probably run it or help run it at least and get all the chores done clean they clean up after them they're not just cute you know you got to look after them too oh, oh, oh did I get a little knot in here I did I think get a little knot in there We had rag dolls in the care home I worked at the residence. I bet, I bet. Good memories. Those were the first dolls were rag dolls, right? For all the plastic, the plastic dolls. Running wild, getting dirty. We had lots of opportunities to for Munchkin to explore that too with a few places that we've been able to uh, visit and we're coming back to visit quite often when we lived in the States and came back to Ontario to visit uh, Pop's family and Munchkin's family. I, I was just married into them. <laughs> but I didn't mind taking the drive to, you know, make sure that the great grandparents got to see the grandson, the great grandson, and know him, and he got to know them. That was really important to me because I didn't have any grandparents growing up, so it was even the great grandparents, you know, pop's grandparents. I was happy to to make those, you know, eight-hour drives from door door to door and spend weeks up between places, between the barn and the house in Brampton, Grandma's house. And of course, when you stayed at Grandma's house and Grandma had a nap, so did you. <laughs> no matter what, you better lay down too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I love listening to your lives. It's like having a room full of ladies sewing their crafts. Well, that's kind of what we're doing. We're chatting, chatting away, sharing, sharing stuff. Can you please show a really close so we can see the stitches? Sure can. I don't know. Can you see that? I'm just going around the hat. You kind of, I puffed up the hat a little bit just by going around. I'm done there. I've highlighted here. Uh, I'm just going to probably highlight around sometime in the face there. So, with just the black thread. Okay. And then here's the back. Oops. Sorry. It's got some tails in the way, but I'm not too concerned about it. So. And then this is how Santa looks normally sorry or he should okay and where all those little uh dark ones are on his beard and his mustache and his hat i'm going to put a bead but that all has to happen afterwards so no we're busy ladies today jan used the long arm very nice joan made bowl cozies Lori's making a christmas wall hanging and i'm working on pillowcase whoa -ho! work and shop there you go <laughs> Very nice. Women on a mission. Definitely. All right, I'm gonna weave it through some back here. Let's try to get at least three, three stitches. Oh, serious? Okay, that's all right. Okay, trim that up, trim that one up, trim that one up, trim that one up. Okay, all right, let's grab some black and try and head around and do our face. What was the, what was the black black? Oh, it is a black. Okay, so we have to do his eyes in black. I'm working on a quilt too. Jenny of Missouri Star uh, made a stargazer quilt a few days ago. I hacked the pattern and have the top almost completely. Oh, very nice, very nice. Glad you're having fun. All right, let's go around his face. To out, out, outline his face here. So we want to go, let's start over here. Two under, yep. Oh, here, let's, uh, let's kind of lose his stitches in here. Like Pat said, let's thread in a few. Okay. There we go. What else are you putting on this? Uh, just, just the beads. Just the beads. And then uh, I haven't decided if I want to just put it in a little frame or I want to make it so we can, like, hang it up somewhere. Like, I don't know. I just thought it was so cute I wanted to do them. I'm hoping he'll be finished for Christmas. I'm hoping he'll be finished hopefully before the weekend, but that all depends on how crack and lacken I get. <laughs> so it's just like I'm working up little steps here to get up to the flesh tone of the face. So it's one, two, three. Now we're gonna go two in a row here. And now we're at the flesh tone for the face. So let's go down and around. He's got a cute face, this Santa, too. It's, it's very, very nice. And I find cross-stitch patterns and quilt patterns are very much interchangeable. I've, I've done a cross-stitch into a queen-size quilt. It was a wolf head howling at the moon. And I did that for my girlfriend, Helen, and that was, like, 
it has, I'd say at least a decade ago. I thought it would have come up in my Facebook uh, listing in, in August because that's when her birthday was, but it didn't pop up and I was kind of disappointed. Um, so I, I don't know what happened to the, to the share link of it. So, but it was beautiful. Yeah, it was just a little wolf pattern, a wolf head howling at the moon, and I turned that, turned that into a queen-size quilt. So you just change every square here, uh, like a red stitch is just a red square fabric. So, hello Trudy, welcome to the chat. I'm so far behind watching you, I forgot to put the, oh, the bells remind me when you were on. Oh. <laughs> we're good, we're good, thank you for asking. Pop, Pop's working in the house. It's just me and the sofa loaf out here in the shop. And Munchkin's in the shop too. Mm, I like making little cushions with some cross stitch piece. There you go. Pretty. It could be a beautiful center of a block to a Christmas project, table runner, even. I could turn the bottom of this into a hand towel, right? Uh, so it hangs in the bathroom. We got options. We got options, homie. We got options. Could do lots of things with it. Migraine is winning. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaylin. I'm sorry. Nothing worse than a migraine. I used to keep a baggie in the car with cross stitch for waiting on the kids or, or in business. There you go. There we go. That's a good idea. I used to do that with yarn and a crochet hook. So. Yeah, just trying to outline the his like uh, eyebrows, eyes, and cheeks at this point. Oh, sounds like we got a delivery. And it's not DiGiorno. I ordered some plants to be delivered because we needed some plants in the house. And I ordered 12 and eight of them were frozen. Poor little things. Apparently they said maybe one or two will bounce back, but they're going to give me either a refund or credit or resend them out. I'm like, don't resend them out. They're just going to get frozen again. It took too long to get here. So I was a little annoyed. One tiny cent in the corner. I was just thinking that a big piece of backing and one tiny cent in the corner. <laughs> yeah, there's your Christmas present. <laughs> oh, there you go, Jennifer. Lynn, listening to the ear pod. I can't wear those ear pods. They never stay in. I'm a headphone person. They gotta go. I gotta go right, right over, right over the, right over the ears. Anything? It just pops out. I, I've, I've tried many different ones. I've tried. Pop has no issues having things stay in his ears like that. Neither does Munchkin. They just work their way out of mine. They just slowly just pop right out. And they don't stay. It's very annoying. So I'm a, I'm a headphone kid. Hit the thumbs up buttons. Thank you. Thank you, armchair. Yeah, best grandma. Exactly. You make make the best you can out of it, right? So, I look forward to being a grandma one day, even if it's just by proxy of my nieces. <laughs> well, I guess. Well, I'm a great aunt, so I'll take that. I'll take that. It doesn't look like we go up and around his cheek, do we? No, we don't. We just go under. Okay. Just so you can see my reference of what I'm going at. I don't know if you can see that. It's too blurry. Too blurry. Yeah. It's not up around his, over his cheek. You could have made huge. You could have made this huge Santa face out of like change him into a quilt project, right? So, okay, we got to go right around his nose. So let's just continue with the stitch here. Go around. Hmm. 
-hmm. You have to use headphones too. Yeah, they just don't stay. They just pop out. They're very annoying. And I get very frustrated with it because all I can do is feel it slowly making its way out. Even those foam ones that you, like, if you just want, uh, like, ear plugs, and then you just, the foam ones, and you just kind of squish them and put them in your ear, nope, they pop out too. They don't stay in. Found a pattern for a mini block Christmas ornament, so getting things ready to go through my scraps to do. Oh, very nice. How cute. Hopefully it was a free pattern. Nothing better than a free pattern. I'm cheap, I'm frugal, I don't want to pay for it, but I don't have to. Especially <laughs> when it comes to patterns. That's why I like trolling the magazines and, or trolling, scrolling, trolling and scrolling, whatever. Uh, the magazines and stuff, because then you get ideas. You're like, oh, I like that, or like, oh, I like a part of this quilt, but I don't, maybe not like the rest of it or the borders, eh, it's not your thing, but... You know, you can always always adapt, right? You know, oh, I'll do this and I'll do that. That's how all these patterns and new patterns and old patterns that just get relived and relived and renamed, uh, you know, get out there, right? So. cheek all right up over here it's got to go all the way up oh there you go actually that was one of the things that helped me it really did yeah I quit in 2000 2000 the year 2000 I quit munchkin was Four years old, and I used to smoke outside. Pop never smoked. Well, actually, I used to smoke a pipe, but you know, when it was, it was no, it was it wasn't a really big deal. Um, but uh, yeah, he didn't do that for very long. So I was I was the smoker. So I would go. I'd smoke outside. Take the dog out, whatever. And Munchkin was four years old, and he had the dog out, and was coming back in, and he started mimicking me with a white crayon like he was smoking the white crayon and I said that's it it's not cool that's not cool so and I, I pretty much quit within the next week cold turkey I had to really psych myself up for it and say that I was doing the best thing I could for my son to teach him that it was not cool to smoke and it was very, very dangerous and addictive and, and yeah, and I, cold turkey. I even had cigarettes in the freezer because we were living in the States and I had Canadian cigarettes because I didn't like the American ones. And, um, yeah, they were, they were hiding in the freezer and I sent them back to my sister after I'd quit for about four months, I think, four or five months. And I, I knew I wasn't going back. So I sent them, I sent them to her. So... And I still think I still think she she smokes today still. No, it's not an easy one to do. It isn't. Hey, Miku, how you doing, buddy? Happy to see you here today. Happy to see you working on a little Santa face. Working on a little Santa face. It's coming along. Well, easier if I turn it the right way around. There we go. See, it's coming along. It's kind of cute when she get his little details in there, right? So, <clears throat> cheers, water, not vodka. <laughs> I have the same problem. Your canals, canals are too narrow. Oh, they, I just find them so annoying to deal with. And Pop must have bought me maybe two or three pairs. Or he'd say, oh, try these ones. These ones will fit you. And out, oh, they're popping out. I'm like, uh, you know what? These are just making me mad. Just, uh, I'll just, can I just take a set of headsets? Well, the headsets are so much heavier. And I'm like, I don't care. 
I don't care how heavy the headset is. Better than fighting with these things all the time. Because I'd have to put them in my ears and then stick tape over the holes. You know what I mean? You had candy cigarettes as a kid. <laughs> oh, very nice. You're off work. Very nice. Is there a new SoCam yet? No, well, uh, it was. we were going to try and set it up for a an nice angled shot on this. So it can kind of be a little bit sideways. And you guys can see a little bit more detail. But we'll work on that for next Tuesday. Baby steps. Uh, no, I don't think so, unless you want to come out and say hi. What was the package? It was something that was delivered. We gotta do his eyes too. Okay, make sure we're on the right spot for his eyebrow. Yeah, we are. Okay. Mm -hmm. A little miniatures. I'm addicted to cross stitch now. Uh, my boring my work colleagues. <laughs> you know what? You have to do what inspires you. So stick with it. I'm with you all the way. Don't you worry. We're stuck in together. Just think of uh, all the things, all the time you're saving. The health benefits you're getting for yourself by, by quitting, you know, and I know it's tough. It really is. It really is. Um, within a few months after I quit, I went to Vegas. Uh, my girlfriend, Kimberly, was uh, driving with her husband from B.C. down to Vegas because they like, they like to go to Vegas quite often. And she asked if I wanted to fly and meet her there. And I'm like, well, shoot, I'm all over that. You know, it's been a couple of years since I seen her. Uh, oh, I think I went one too far. Hold on. One, two, three. Yeah, I did. Oops, got to go backtrack. Um, Costco looks like lights. What? <laughs> I'm confused. So, yeah, I went down to down to Vegas, and um, and of course at that time you could. Uh, oh, where did I come up here? You could still smoke at the casinos, at the, the slots machines and stuff like that, right? And it just reeked, reeked and reeked of cigarette smoke. Oh, my gosh. You know, when you don't smoke, well, like, and I always, and I felt so bad. I even, I even think I came home because I didn't really like, realize the extent of the stinks smoke for cigarette smoke. I mean, if you, if you smoke, that's all you. It's a, I don't, you know, I'm not trying to be little or anything. I'm just saying what I discovered from being a previous smoker. Uh, the smell was horrendous. Like it was so bad. I, you know, it was in certain parts of the building just because there was, there was, it was some parts were just restricted, no smoking, right? Which was fine. But the rest of the parts you could pretty much just smoke in. It was, oh, it just, it ranked. It just, it just, it was bad. It was really bad. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, they're not the same. Um, so I came home and I apologized for, to pop for him having to kiss an ashtray and for all those years and I should have quit sooner and I was really sorry and yeah I never never touched another cigarette again and it is a hard habit to kick but when, once you get past the it takes three weeks to form a habit right okay so you can break that habit in twice as long so you, you get yourself a month under you and you're 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 good you're good it shows you how to do it. okay there you go trudy thanks for sharing little christmas ornaments Could certainly use that this time of year especially if you're not sure what to get somebody or you don't have a big budget you know like our budget's zero because, you know, we moved. <laughs> that, that went, there went the budget. Um, so, and we're, and we're fine with that. We're just happy to have a, have a nice meal like we did last year. We've got a turkey planned for Christmas Eve. And then we've got a nice uh, rib roast planned for New Year's Eve. So, those, those are our treats to ourselves this year. Besides trying to find joy and happiness in a 90-acre parcel of land near the ocean in Nova Scotia. Because we gave ourselves that opportunity this year, too. So, 
and I think we're pretty close, pretty close to it. Uh, goat decided to kid. Oh boy, okie dokie, have, have fun. <laughs> oh, good for you, Gita, it's, it's hard, it's hard. Yeah, smoking or non-smoking. Yeah, exactly, right? The jet fans over your face if you smoked. I don't remember ever smoking on a plane, though, so. Yeah, you have to rewash everything. Like, I just, I just, it just, oh, it's just such a stank, right? And I've tried to quit before, and then you, you know, you get that cigarette, and, you know, and it tastes horrible, but then you get past that taste, and it tastes okay, and then... You know, and it's just like, it's just a, it's just a vicious cycle, you know, and it's so much money. Like I quit when they were like, I don't even know how much a pack of cigarettes are now, but I think when I'm going to say seven or eight bucks and I thought, no way, holy moly, seven or eight dollars for a pack of cigarettes. You've got to be kidding me. I am not doing that. And I did, I didn't, you know, it's been, it's been 21 years, but like, I don't, I have no idea how much a pack of cigarettes cost. I know when I worked at the convenience store, how much they sold them for, and they were like 12 and 13. And I was like flabbergasted at that cost that people were buying this every single day. You know, like, whoa, that, seem, that seems to be a bit much, right? Okay, one eyebrow done. Looks a little odd without his eyes, though. <laughs> 10 pounds in England? Are you kidding me? That's like $22 here Canadian because you guys are like two point something of our currency. Blow me away. Oh my goodness. Think of who you could feed, for, how you can feed yourself for 22 pounds or 20 bucks. Just here. My goodness. You buy a ticket. You can buy yourself a ticket. <laughs> you got to go buy Linda Lindsay. Big hugs for you. Big hugs, big hugs. What helped me stop smoking? I cut straws into lengths of cigarettes and it kept those on hand. Oh, well, yeah, that's because it was a emotion. Yeah, it's a, it's a habit. It's that habit, right? Like uh, my hardest one to beat was driving. I'd get in the car and light a cigarette. I'd get in the car and light a cigarette. And that was such a bad one to <clears throat> stop, stop, stop. So I put, I found the strongest mint. Uh, ask, ask, no, hold on. Altoids, Altoids mints, and I put those. I had one in my purse, one in my bag, one in my, and one in the truck or whatever vehicle we were driving, and that really helped me. It really, really helped me. It, it kept my literally my mouth busy, and I ended up losing the craving or that habit of craving that you know, light a cigarette, and driving a car, you know, I'm like being distracted. <laughs> Quit in November 2003. Pack of cigarettes is almost 16 bucks then. Oh, my goodness. Then or, or now? Because 16 is, I think it's cheapest pack is uh, 25s or 40s. $40, but don't quote me. <gasps> Holy snapping bum joints. Are you kidding me? 40 bucks? Give me a prime rib dinner for that, man. I could eat, for, I could eat two meals for that good meal <laughs> now wow still sixteen dollars that's nuts i don't got that kind of money to waste that's a good tip though brenda yeah mints something else uh try not to substitute too much of a like a, a candy or a sugar substitute because some people go for suckers some people go for um um, you know, patches, patches may work. I never, I never tried the patch. Actually, did I? I did. I did try the patch. Uh, and I just found it, uh, I was allergic to it. It made my skin really itchy right around where it was attached. So, um, eight euros in Belgium. Oh, good gravy. Cause that's still like eight euros. It's double the bit. So you're still looking like a $20 Canadian for a pack of smokes. Holy. No, thanks. Yeah, well, when I used to, well, when my family used to buy me the cartons, because they'd be buying them for me as they went to Costco, and then mailing them down to me to the States where I was. And uh, I remember spending like 50 or 60 bucks on a carton, and I'm, I still thought that was, like, are you, are you kidding me? I'm like, I got to quit this habit. So 
I think I was a little bit more mentally prepared to, to quit because I knew I needed to and I really should have. And it's, you know, I want to live a, a long, prosperous life and not always have to worry about, ooh, can I have a cigarette? Or how long is it going to be till I have another cigarette? You know, so it's not who I wanted to be, that's for sure. Oh, there you go, armchair. <laughs> Duly noted and taken happily. Thank you all very, very much. <laughs> Thank you all very, 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 very much. Yes. What time is it? Oh, it's two o'clock. Two, do, 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 two o'clock. Oh, two o'clock, my time. I quit smoking in 1996. Hardest thing I ever did. Today, I can't stand the smell. It literally makes me gag. I know, right, Nita? I hear you. The patch made me violently ill, so it was cold turkey. I'll yeah, same same thing with me. Cold turkey. I'm like, I, I have to do this. I have to do this for me. I have to do this for my son. I have to, I have to do this for my husband, you know, like... When they were 150 a pack. Oh, God. 105 a pack. Oh, when was that, Diane? <laughs> T tell me when that was. <laughs> okay, are both eyebrows the same? Because you don't look the same. Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. They still okay on the yeah. 1981. Oh, wow. I would have been 10 years old. Okay. That was a while ago. My mom quit when she had her second heart attack. That was that was that's what made her her change her mind on uh, on smoking. So, boy, was she grumpy. She did not want to quit. I remember her being just miserable. And I'm sure I was too, but I was there was I quit while. Actually, Pop didn't know I quit. He was down uh, working in Florida, and he'd been gone for two weeks. And I think I'd had the last last cigarette when, after I dropped him off at the airport and I got home that night. And that was my last cigarette because I was finishing off a pack, and I didn't want to open it. I said to myself, don't open another pack. Don't open another because I had them in the freezer. And I never did. I never did. So I was already two weeks quit by the time Pop, came back or we picked pop up and came home and it took him about three hours to realize i didn't go for a cigarette i didn't i didn't you know you know what i mean like it was and then all of a sudden he was like did you quit smoking and i went yeah two weeks ago so i would that was a proud moment for me that i that i could do that and he, he was he was very proud of me, and I would, that that meant a lot. That meant a lot. There we go. It's getting a little cutie. Hold on. Get a little personality in his face. Got to do his eyes though. Got to do his eyes. Because other than that, he's just he's soulless. He's got no eyes. Hello, Lacey B. Yes, we are warm today. It is like. 10 or 12 degrees outside is beautifully sunny. We're supposed to be nice on Saturday. Hello, Miss Helly. What you doing? We've missed you. We've been here for two hours. <laughs> um, yeah, it's supposed to be nice on Saturday, so it should be warm enough in the shop. Unfortunately, the temperature dropped really drastically on Friday, and it was minus 10 in here over, not in here. It was, it was barely above freezing when I came to check out first thing in the morning, Saturday morning. And I said to Pop, I'm like, I can see my breath out there. It is cold. It is way too cold. So, and we put another heater out here and then it was like still, still nothing. It, was, it only went up like two or three degrees. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we were just talking about uh, things to help keep us busy while we're trying to break a habit, whether it's, you know, smoking, chewing your nails, uh, playing with your hair, chewing your hair, whatever. Some people flick the nail polish off their nails all the time. Then don't get them painted, for freak's sakes. It's driving me nuts. Uh, yeah, bubble, gum, chew, gum helped a little bit, but I found that the Altoids mints were just so powerful, were so shocking 
on the the palate that it just was like instead of a cigarette you just had this like intense flavor going on in your mouth and it just distracted you you know it was far more pleasant to be you know kissing somebody you know with a or eating yeah yeah you know bad habits of eating all the time um you know you, you just got to kick it you just got to kick the habit it's hard it's hard that i know that i totally totally know all right we're going to tie this off here so i'm not dragging the black across my white in the back okay tie this off under here somewhere and we'll continue around with our little uh highlight and stitching his beard's not done but i just wanted to give him a little bit more definition as we were working on him so he's getting there he's getting there hello karen when I met my future husband, I was smoking. He said I had to pick him or the cigarettes. We've been married 50 years. I, if, uh, if Pop would have made that demand early too, probably, I obviously would have chose him. Um, but he s smoked a bit of a, um, a pipe. So he wasn't like a cigarette smoker when I met him, though he did smoke beforehand. But he, he smoked a pipe every now and again. So And I think that's because I did, you know, because I smoked. So not that I smoked a pipe, but... I didn't like a pipe. Yeah, I found that if you change your activities when the urge to smoke hit, and yeah, and move past them, that's that's exactly find something else to do. Take up a hobby. Uh, I tried to help my girlfriend um, Gail. Uh, I taught her to crochet, uh, and she made blankets and stockings. She made beautiful stockings last year for all of her family members. They were they were totally adorable. Um, uh, and, and she was very, very thankful. She, she quit smoking. She uses a, um, oh my gosh, what are the vape, vape things? The vape, I don't know. I think it's still nicotine in it or it's just flavor now. I don't know. But she is addicted to that, like the habit of that. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Uh, back my tablet went coop. Uh-oh. Oh, I'll cooperate? Oh, no, that's not good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you think it'll last? <laughs> Good question, Sass. I had lollies uh, when I gave up and it helped me stop. Yeah, it's, keeps your, it's a matter of keeping your hands busy and not being so focused on, I need a cigarette, I want a cigarette, you know? Like, that's, that's the sad, sad part. And we're, so, we're such a, addictive uh, humans as it is, right? You know? Phone now. Oh, boy. Jeepers creepers, it's all sorts of acting up on you today, Miss Helly. All right, so we want to go one down and we want to come over two. I'm just trying to work on these little lines right here. Oops, you can't see that. Little lines right on the side of his face here. Fate pens, more. Yeah, I've heard some of them exploding there, Pat. I didn't realize they exploded. And I, so I told my girl, I, once I saw, like, saw the ad of, or the warning of these, I'm like, you've got to stop using that thing. This thing's explode. Some guy got like punctured in the neck and like with the, the, yeah, with the battery blew up or something and the plastic jabbed him in the neck. And oh yeah, yeah. I'm like, ah, no, 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 no. So I know she's, she's been trying to, so I don't, I don't, I don't agree with them. That's for sure. But to each their own. I'm not here to, to dictate to people. I'm just here to have some fun and, you know, share some encouraging thoughts and that you can do it. Smoking doesn't define you as a person, you know. And you are so much more than just, you know, a cigarette and a lighter, right? Am I going to? No, I'm going down. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then two to the side. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tie it cheaper to keep me. Oh. <laughs> Never had the patience to cross stitch? Wonder why. Wonder why. Have you done any, like, needlework or anything like that? Or cruel? Or was it cruel? Cruel? Uh, cruel work? Mm, I don't know if that's what I'm thinking. My friend is still addicted to the nicotine mints, and she gave up smoking almost 10 years ago. Me, I'm still addicted to cigarettes, unfortunately. Well, you, it's okay, Tracy. Everybody's got their own battle, man. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. 
when you're ready, you will, you will quit. And sometimes it takes a long time in persuading oneself to, to, to quit for the better, better health of things. You know, you got to think of all the positive things that come to mind when you do quit, right? The freedom you have without it being controlling you and the extra money you have in your pocket for fabric and cross-stitch supplies. <laughs> yeah. Slow stitch. Oh, okay, there we go. Freestyle, there we go. We've, we've done a few of those. Just highlight your cute, adorable center. Center. Yeah, some, some good fun to, you know, we only have the one, well, we have the both cameras, but I figure you guys want to see what I'm doing and not just look at me, look at me head down. So I mean, far more appropriate to have this up, so, but we will, we'll finish this black here around the hood and then we'll see what time it is. Crocheted a lot lately. You can make so many big projects and small projects, right? So beads and small applique, not on quilts. Oh, there we go. I, we plan to add some beads to this too. Um, maybe I'll let you know, Sass, if we'll have Friday. I, th I think we're still going to sort some boxes out. So I don't, I don't see why not, but I'll have to check with the powers that be to make sure and to see what the temperature is going to be. So yeah, it is now. It is now, Tracy. That's why I'm out here. I'm that we would have had to cancel. Yeah, it warmed up last night. It w we went to bed and it was minus two and it was turned to massive wind and rain and like plus 10 overnight. So we are expecting some snow Wednesday or to Wednesday night, but it looks like Saturday is supposed to be nice and I think Friday should be pretty okay. I may have to wear a sweater, but that's all right. I don't mind wearing sweaters. I'm a sweater person. And right now with just two heaters going on in the shop here, it's about 18 degrees Celsius. So, but like I said, it's warm today and it's sunny. Sun's beating down on the roof of the, the shop. So will you frame? I'm not sure what I want to do with Santa. Like I said, it could turn him into a hand towel, can turn him into a fridge magnet. Make him a big ornament for the tree. Maybe turn him into a pillow. Maybe even a, a mug rug. You know, kind of do what Sass said, put him up far in a corner and then, you know, maybe use the rest of the, as a, as a mug rug spot or something. I don't know. I just thought he was cute and I wanted to do him. So I started him last week. Powers, I'll give that a go every Friday. <laughs> the powers of B. I'll try my best. I'll try my best, Sass, I promise. You know I will. Oops, missed one. Mine is 23 in Portage. Ooh, Nelly. That sounds cool. Quite chilly. I will be happy with my whatever plus we have here today. I don't know what's on on my phone. Uh, it says five degrees Celsius and sunny. That's what it says right now. So Storm Vara, Bar Vara is hitting the UK right now. Not too bad in our port in Bristol so far. Oh, okay. Yeah, you could easily put these on in the mini hoops and then just hang it right on the tree. I've got some little um, plastic frames. I could do some small projects and frame them up. I got like a bell and a tree. I showed them off at the beginning of the, the stream. Could fill them up. Yeah, nice little tree ornament. Yeah, exactly. I love watching people sort. It's slightly better than doing it yourself. <laughs> I just find you get a chance to actually see what you have because you've forgotten because you just, especially with me, it was, I was running out of space and it was just like, you know, um, somebody was cleaning up and gave me a bucket. I just popped that bucket underneath the long arm. I wouldn't like, I would look in it and go, Oh, 
okay, and then it'd be like off goes, and then because I was working on other things at the time, so this gives me lots of opportunity to figure out what I got, and plan in new projects, and and then and getting excited about new new projects that that, that are planning, you know. So and what I can do with it, because I really want to use my stash. I don't want to have to buy any fabric if I don't want to or have to. I really want to use what I got. I got a lot, so yeah, it's going to be scrappy. Yeah, some of it's going to look a little funky, but it's mine and I'll be happy to have it because those fabrics make memories so do 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 okay trying to get around this holly here the holly jolly Christmas has it reached you in Oxford yet? Three inch window hoops on Amazon are reasonable. That is where I'm getting my, oh, there you go, Trudy. Perfect. And then you give the whole thing away. See, there you go. It's all for you. The weather's going crazy every, yeah, well, BC, the, they've been hit so hard. And then some, uh, I saw uh, a weather alert as we were looking for ours, uh, the, was not, not yesterday, maybe two days ago when it was really starting to get cold and I was like, ooh, how low is it dropping? Like, jeepers creepers, man. Like, the, fo the floor was already cold as it was. And, um, and it just even got colder. And, um, and it said parts of California were getting snow. And I was like, oh, wow. Oh, okay. Well, I know it, it can because, you know, the, some, of it, some of California is mountainous, right? So especially the northern part. So that's not too, too unheard of. But it just seems like, wow, okay. Weather all over the place. And the, I know the UK's had a dusting of snow. Um, a couple of the narrow boat uh, people I watch on YouTube, um, they, 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 they showed a, you know, a, a dusting of snow as they're trying to putter about on their boats. All right, let's try and go around the beard, finish that off. Because it looks like the holly is highlighted in green in the other section, so we'll have to conquer that. I might have him finished by next week, or maybe even by Saturday. So that'll be nice, and then we can start that other new project. So. All right, well, I'm going to finish this off here, and then I'll switch the camera. And then I have a little bit of ironing to do on some of those Dresdens I discovered on Friday, because I've already made one flower, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, that looks like it's going into green, so I'm going to come down here to finish off his hat. Isn't he adorable? Okay, I think we're going to leave him right there. But my goodness. He's just a cutie patootie with a half a beard. Right? Isn't he going to be adorable? Looks cute. He's got quite the little face on him already. I like him. I like him a lot. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to go switch the cameras to the main camera. Hold on. Okay. Oi, oi, oi. <clears throat> water. He's looking adorable. I love him, Darlene. I love him. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh I should have popped up arthritis pill or something because my knees are getting all cranky. I'm a cranky old lady. <laughs> oh, hi. You're off your chair, are you? Are you in a charger? <laughs> hey, I, know, I know. We got to go back over there, though. We got to go back over there. Yeah. Here. 
Yeah, because I found some of these on Friday. Let's clean up our mess here. Do, do, do. Let's pop those in there so I know what colors I'm using. Here. Fire. And we're going to try and attempt this next Tuesday. Okay. Obviously not the whole thing all day, but we will, we'll put in a few hours. We'll get her going, that's for sure. Oops. Well. So I found some of these, a nice stack. I've obviously cut them. I didn't know what, I was working on a project of some sort. So I got half one here and then a full one here. And then I've got some more that I've ironed out. So these measure like 22 and a half inches across. So you get yourself a 24 inch pillow or even like a 26 inch pillow. Pop that on there, little circle, stitch that sucker down. Boom, instant gift, instant gift, right? So pick colors they like, do rainbow over each other. You need 21 of, well, if you use the little Dresden ruler from Missouri Star. So you know, I was just gonna press a few more of the uh, blue ones. So uh, love to know where you purchased that ribbon. No, it was a gift. I wish I could tell you, Trudy. I wish I could tell you. It is from JCA Inc. And it's the Bow Ties Unique Cross Stitch Door Decoration, Mr. and Mrs. Claus by Michael A. Leclerc. Leclerc. Isn't it just adorable, Mr. and Mrs. Claus? It literally is just the cutest thing. I was going to work on it as we were coming across Canada, but it was, it was in Nomi's box. And as we well know, Nomi's box got packed up in a truck before I even had a chance to tell them they weren't packing that. So I was very worried when it's traveling. And it's traveling, yes. Hello, Miss Sobeka. Yeah, yeah, we were just doing some cross stitching. Worked on our cute little... Mr. Mr. Cla uh, Sandy Claus here, isn't it pretty? You worked on that. And I tried to scoot it up so I can make a few things out of that uh, bit of canvas, right? And then we have some, some more Dresdens here. I'm just gonna try and move it so I can get on the other side of the iron. Uh, can I? Oh, well, there's a box in the way. Yeah, and there's been lots and lots, oops, lots and lots of free patterns on the DMC uh, website for all the um, uh, all the cross stitches. There's lots and lots, lots of alphabet ones too. Okay, pressed all those blue ones, pressed all those green ones, and I got these ones too. So we'll press these. We'll chat. Are we are we okay? Can I can barely see chat though. I'm gonna have to. Sorry, buddy. Mm-hmm, I'll have to figure out a better solution to press. Because I could barely see the chat. <laughs> Silly idea, Lorland. Silly idea. Maybe I should move my table one. Mm, maybe there. Here we go. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Just give me a moment. Sometimes. Sometimes it takes me a bit to get fired up, you know, the old brain cells. Hmm. Let's move this over here. Hi, Zoe Lovey. Hi, Zoe Lovey. Hey, yo. Hey, are you my favorite? Are you my favorite? Of course you are. It's good, good. Good, good. Thank you. Let's move that there. Move that there. Yeah. Now we're cooking. <laughs> I'm not just a pretty face, people. I'm smart, too. Not all the time. <laughs> Let's not get too crazy here, shall we? <laughs> that get too crazy. Oh, yeah, I've done that. I've done that before. I've actually made a hat. Hat out of Pops leftover ties. Yep, yep, yep. I'm, I'm, there's done a skirt. Done a skirt with leftover ties for as a costume. Cooking with gas, you betcha, baby. <laughs> it is starting to get a little chilly in here. It looks like it's dropped about 17, 70, 16, 17 in here. But I have my sweater. I have my sweater over there if I needed it. So mm -hmm. I have a lot of poly stuffing. When making your own cushions, say a 15 inch, what would you cut the squares 
Would it be less than or more than 15 inches for the, I'd say more than 15 inches. I'd almost cut it at 16 inches because then you have at least a half inch seam allowance um, or for first seam allowances all the way around. And then I'd sew that twice. I'd do that two sews all the way around. And then, um, and then stuff, stuff. Yeah, for sure. Stuff it, stuff it. It depends on how much you want it stuffed. If you want it like overly stuffed, you may have to go 17. Because that's is a charge. <laughs> Isn't she? Oops, that was a weird one. I was look before you just... Put it down there, silly silly. Yeah, it wouldn't be too much bigger. It wouldn't be too big. It depends on how much you want to stuff it, right? How much you want your, your pillow stuffed. But I'd make it just a little bit bigger. A little bit. And you can always adjust. You can always come in like a, an eighth of a seam allowance to make it fit your what you're looking for, like what you want it to fit. So... That didn't come out very pointy like, hold on, there we go, that's better. So what I did with all those Dresden pieces is they were obviously flat, flat across. So I sewed down the one end and then I just popped them all out using the tip of my finger. You can use a tool or a stylus or a pair of non-sharp tipped uh, scissors. That'll also help to pop out your little corners, make them nice and pronounced. And you just want to make sure it's laying flat evenly because these sides here you're going to end up sewing up to against to another one right and I would not be too concerned on how where they're meeting in the center like at the the bottom hole there don't don't be concerned about that at all because you're going to be covering that right nobody's ever going to see that so if they're uneven that's better than having your outsides uneven right no one's ever going to see that inner hole okay so don't panic if when you're cutting in your template or your seam allowance and you, whatever, just make sure these, all these beautiful points up here are all together, okay? And then you can either press to the side or press your seams open. It's whatever is good for you and what you want to do. Less bulk, especially if you're stitching it down onto your background fabric, then you could go down each side of the seam. So... Yeah, better too big than too small, because then you can adjust it, right? You can you can take it in a little bit, you can you know, trim it off a little bit, whatever. Once you've cut it, you can't add to it, right? So And they're not like these these uh when you're using the Dresden ruler, these come out to like I said, twenty two and a half. So you put that on a nice even if you want to have nice space all the way, you can put it on a twenty five inch square. Right, 25, 25, that's 50. That's, that's a lovely lap, lap quilt, right? Two, two across, three down, six, six Dresdens, boom. Got a lovely, lovely um, lap quilt for, for somebody to hang out with. Yes, and, 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 and heavy metal shelving units <laughs> that were too, too heavy for me to move. <laughs> the light bar for Walt, the, the one that goes across the top and had all the little light uh, chandeliers and stuff all uh, tucked into it. Yeah, that's, that's on the floor. I can't move it. It's too heavy. It's, it's far too heavy. And it's too flexible because it, if you watch the breaking down video, I helped him break down that bar and it's like collapsed like it was a, uh, some bug. It was weird. It was weird. It is heavy. That's heavy. And I got these cream ones here too. I decided what I was going to do with those ones. But I figure I had them cut. I might as well use them. Make them into to Dresden little flowers here and, and make use of them for Pete's sakes. see nothing <laughs> here I'll put there there we go okay there you go can't uh, what green I see nothing <laughs> 
Yeah, I've been waiting to have the heat sorted because you got to go in this room and that room and I don't want to move a table and chairs. So I've been waiting for them to deal with that before I order the table and chairs. Well, I have ordered the table and chairs. I mean, and it's at the warehouse. They just want to deliver it. And I'm like, I kind of want all this work done first because then I don't want to have to move it. Nor do I want it getting dirty or, or damaged, right? So I haven't had a table and chairs in like seven years. By golly, I would really like one. I was hoping we'd have one before Christmas so we could all eat together for Christmas Day, like Christmas Eve. Right now we just kind of eat off our laps, sitting next to each other sort of thing. It's kind of blah. For Pete's sake, yeah, well, Pete was a disciple, wasn't he? So for the sake of Pete, <laughs> can we get some stuff going on around here? <laughs> There's good days and there's bad days. You just got to take each day as, as it comes. Sometimes you can't change things. Sometimes you can. You just got to know the wisdom between the two. Of the things you can and the things you can't. And it sometimes it's very hard to accept. I've experienced it myself. That there's just things you just, you know, it's just not coming your way today. And these will make lovely little Dresdens as well, I think. Those little Dresdens flowers, especially this tan colored one on like black, because there's a bit of black in this one and a little bit of black in that one, like on a black piece of fabric, I think would look really spiffy. And that's a nice neutral tone to gift somebody, because if you don't know what colors they like, at least the black and the tan would match, you know? And if you're using it at a, a scrappy fabric, then that's probably even more of a nice you know, cute eclectic idea. Yeah, no one to hold them, when no to fold them. Exactly. The words of Kenny Rogers. And so it really is sometimes hard to to acknowledge or even to say, yes, this stuff ain't going my way today and I just need to take a minute, check myself before I wreck myself, you know, because that's when, you know, tempers get heated and you say things you don't want to, you don't mean to say, you're just in the heated moment, you know, and that's, I always try to check myself before I wreck myself, because I've, I've said things, things have come out of my mouth and I've regretted. And I've, and I've been very apologetic for, you know, for saying something stupid. And it was in the heat of the moment, and me feeling anger and frustrated, and I figured it would have just taken a moment to, take a breather and think about it, then I wouldn't have been all hot under the collar and been a persnickety. So I do bead looming. Oh, very nice. I've been watching a bit of people doing some bead looming. I didn't realize they did it in such a, in such a way. Like I was, I was actually kind of um, surprised. So, or at least the couple people I'd watched that were doing some bead looming. Mm -hmm. they're easy, these are easier to press before you get them all sewn together because then you could really line up your sides, right? All right. Should be enough to do at least one. Oops. And of course, there's many different sizes of Dresdens, right? We 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 have one that's a 10 degree wedge. I think this one here is like a 12 or something. So it's all how many blades you have in your Dresden. All depends on what degree of uh, cut you have, or cut you do. So. Okay, what do we have here? One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, should be what we need to put this one together. What were these blues though? Um, it's over there. Oh, 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 good, good, good. I was just gonna say. 
doesn't seem to make much sense here. Okay, let's put this over here so I don't burn myself. Put the chair back. I'm going to do a little bit of sewing. Is that okay? I know it says cross stitch, but we, we, could, we could sew a little bit. We'll finish off this one, okay? How's that? So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We need 21. So 11. Try and grab as many different colors as we can. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, let's just sew those and we'll figure it out. So when you want to line these up, like I said, you don't want to worry about these bottom ends here because nobody's ever going to see those bottom ends ever, 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 because you're going to put them in a, you're going to cover the little hole, okay? Peekaboo, I see you. Okay. And if you wanted to do, you only had enough to do one Dresden, then I would do a half and a half and I would split it like as in a table runner. I would put it so it was like a half a flower popping up on one side and like and then another half a flower popping up on the other side and then you do it with one flower you can make yourself a nice table runner or even a nice placemat for somebody or like you know a nice centerpiece with just a couple of little colors. So you know just just think about it. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. So oh Sass is going to sleep. Oh Okay, big hugs. We'll catch up Friday, hopefully, okay? Love you, Sass. Thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's um, see this one and this one. Let's do this one. This one and this one together, okay? Yes, sleep well. So you really want to line up these two right here, okay? Those two right there, those ledges. That's why it's kind of important to press those. And then don't worry about these guys. Look, they're not even. That's okay. Nobody ever going to see it. We're going to cover it. But you really want to make sure your nice points around here are lined up, okay? Yeah, there you go, Mel. Perfect. Doesn't take too long. Sorry, I just got to find my pedal. Just got to find my pedal. Just gray thread and walking foot here. We'll just finish off this blue Dresden and then we'll, we'll call it for stream for today. Okay, and then let's do this blue. Oops. Okay. Yeah, be good, be patient. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Especially this time of year. Well, I don't have to go to a mall or anything like that, so I'm 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 happy about that. The only thing I'm gonna be that would be busy enough is to be a grocery store, so. And I am cool with that, Holmesies. I'm cool with that. Don't want no hustle, no bustle. Just chillax. Couple of nice warm beverages, good to go. Have to go store to get bread and meal. There we go. See? <laughs> Calling for snow here in Maryland tomorrow. Love watching. Uh, we'll get here more often. I've been cross stitching for years. I'm on. Oh, there you go. Happy to stitch along with you, Trudy. Be careful at the store. Good news. Our health minister just announced that starting December 23rd, 2021, vaccinated persons can meet. There. There is 15 of us. We are good to go. Very nice, Josie. Congratulations. Nothing worse than being separated from your family and it, you know, time of year you really want to be partying together, right? So there you go, Mel. Perfect. Perfect. You could do a couple little colors. Mix the red and green blades or or white and red and depending on what your background's gonna be, you could be two different colored backgrounds too, right? On either chunk, so. It doesn't take long to, to whip up, you know, 21 blades. 
And boom, boom, shakalaka, boom. All cutting table could be set for all of us. The cutting, that, oh, this cutting table? Probably, it's a big cutting table. <laughs> I'd have you over, trust me, I'd have you over. We'd have us a good old time, we would. We certainly would. Oh, hold on, I want a lighter color here. Lighter. I want to be on the lighter side. Ask them rainbow colors. Why not? <laughs> you can make it whatever you like, darling. It's up to you. It's all up to you. Teen eBay and under JCA have a lot of those bows of different. Oh, there we go. Well, thank you for looking. Thank you for, for looking because people are probably going to want to know. People are going to want to know. Put this one in. Well, people were talking about their favorite Christmas colors. Miss Ali said one of her favorite Christmas colors is purple, right? So it doesn't always have to be just red and green. What do we got going on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need like four more. Well, someone asked me if the little iron behind me, my little $15 special, is auto shut off. No, it's not. I thought it might have been shut off by the time I got to it after the cross stitch, but it wasn't. So. Our black and white. Oh, there you go. Red, black, and white. Sorry. I just like hanging out with you. Don't matter, cross stitch or sewing, both great. Oh, thank you, Kathy. I really appreciate that. That's, that's always nice to hear. It's always nice to hear. I like purple, blue, and white when it comes to Xmas. See, I, I had a <laughs> Some people will remember, a couple Christmases ago, I was making a Christmas tree skirt for a customer. She had asked for this, this, and this, and whatever, right? So, and we discussed, like, this would be red, and this would be white, and so on and so forth. Well, I made some blue ornaments to go on this tree skirt, and she said blue does not belong in Christmas, and she wanted it removed. She thought it looked ugly. I was, uh, hey, her opinion is her opinion, and I happily took the blue out and replaced it with gold and silver or whatever the heck I, I can't remember what it was but I after doing all that work and all that you know um, applique stitching and all the way around and everything it's a good thing uh, uh, the heat and bond was enough to uh, come up so heated it up and peeled it up so and then just replaced it with other ornaments of another color but th she was so adamant so adamant that blue does not belong at Christmas. And I was like, mm, the sky's blue. I'm very confused by this attitude. <laughs> Where's my shoe? Oh, I took my shoe off to use the pedal. I don't like using my run, I haven't got my runners on and I don't like using uh, my runners on my pedals. If anything, I don't, I don't mind using a slipper, but I don't like using runners. Oh, oh, hold on, let's turn this this way. Turn this this way so I can press it. Now I'm just pressing the seams to the side, but you could totally press them open. I mean, it's up to you, okay? You do what's comfortable for you or what you've been taught, what makes you, makes you happy with your project, okay? Okay.
let's put these little two pieces together here. Make sure they're going to fit. Make sure I had all mine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, is it ten? Yeah, twenty-one. That's eleven. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, let's put this over here, and then we'll sew those last two together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ow. Bup, bup. Mm -hmm. Listening to SI. And watching you, oh, save my money. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy to be part of your saving process. <laughs> Aw, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I've had the pleasure and the honor to quilt some of Miss Kathy McAfee's um, quilts. So we've had lunch together. We've had dinner together. We've, <laughs> we've, we've been shopping together. Mm, I know Joan Marie and I have been shopping together. That's her sister-in-law. So. Yeah, so exactly, Zella. Good point there. Did you say 21? Yep. Um, then just two colors would end up with same colors touching. That's a good idea. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it would. Because if you'd have red, green, 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 red, red. So you'd have to have three for it to even out properly. Or you had, you know, odd guys pointing north, south, east, west sort of thing. And I heard a truck back up. Yep, looks like mm, something's here. FedEx, maybe? I don't know. Let's press this, and we'll show it off. Or do two two reds and then a green, two reds and a green, two reds and a green. I mean that would that would work too in that way, alternating sort of thing. Right. Do two. Yeah, that's what I said. Worry about the outside points. Don't worry about the inside point because it is going to disappear. So there you go. It's nice. And it's a great little dolly skirt got a certain size doll that's for the munchkins. You can put a little elastic waist on there. You can make a little lampshade cover. I don't know. Make some sort of sea creature. <laughs> I think Sass went to bed. I think she went to bed. Okay. I think we're going to call that for today. I think we made some good progress on our cross-stitch Santa. He's coming along very nicely. Especially with the highlights. Yeah, red, green, gold, silver. Definitely. Can alter, alternate for sure. Alterate. Oh, here, there, and everywhere. And it looks like I got a few more little blades to make. And then I should have a nice little lap quilt. What do you think of that? Looks pretty, eh? Hello, Dolores. We're just about to say goodbye. We've been here for almost three hours now. Three hour tour. <laughs> that is your episode at the Looney Bin. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Anybody have any questions? Anybody have any questions? Other than that, we will be here at 1 p.m. Eastern on Friday to sort out more fabric in my buckets. A tisky to tuck it, more fabric in the buckets. 
And then on hopefully Saturday for our regular stream where we're going to be working on the peacock project, making some more beautiful colored full uh, peacock feathers. And um, just making a little progress on that one. Hoping to make up a couple this week so I can, because I haven't been able to do any. So, and I just found my white fabric, so that's, that's kudos. So, but uh, thank you very much for your time, spending it with me and giving me the honor of your time. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being a part of my life. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And if you didn't, make sure you give that thumbs down a two-time hit because then I know you're serious and I'll take it serious. Okay? Make sure you do it twice. Though. Okay? Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon. Got to go over and hit that button. So we'll try for we'll try for Friday, okay? 1 p.m. Eastern, and we'll sort some fabric out. Make more of a mess around here. What do you think? Going everywhere. Okay. Bye. See you later. Mwah. Big hugs. Big squishy hug. Take an arm. Take an arm and squish. Okay, that's a hug for me. Be good.